Keith okay. in the channel. We got Manda. Oh, we got here. Uh, Boba. Whoa. Good to see you as oh well. My gosh. Let's just get extra d6s. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Patrick's in there, of oh, course. I also don't have a d4. The semi master so crafter. Pretty good. Pretty nice. Kurt, welcome back from vacation. Get, we missed you. There's been travel. And You've been on vacation for like a month, dude. Stop it. Did you just not <laughs> 20 with it? No. No. Oh, okay. No, that'd be crazy. She's rolling pretty good, though. That'd be okay, that'd okay. be so wild. That'd be so kooky, so crazy, so wild. So silly, so goofy. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, folks. Guys, look I got a piece cute. of armor that is in Nashville, but is not at my <gasps> home. No. Oh. It's so close to being mine, and it did not wondering. arrive in time. Oh, that's all right. I'm so sad. Next month. So... Uh, you'll Next see when we're, so we're live, but in a moment we go live on video. Uh, some of them have already caught this. You may not have caught it. We have brand new cameras everywhere. Yeah, here too. See? <laughs> oh, that one's yeah. much closer. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are all controlled. Just wear your glasses. Um, no, it ruins the vibe. And so, like, when, yeah, when I go to your um, like cosplay and your player introduction, <laughs> I have a button I touch here. It's going to zoom in right <gasps> on. You. Scary. Yeah. 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 It's, so, it's like a, so an Elder Scrolls oh game where you talk yeah, to an NPC. And it's and it's hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, all so I do good. is just tell you, yeah, it's hello. Gummy mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Just... And then I will set it up in the future, like, to be able to have, okay. like, when we're not cosplaying, like, let's say two people are talking, it'll just zoom in on those two. <gasps> now, I don't want to do that much. over much because people much. like seeing the Some reactions. Some of the best parts yeah. of the David Miller conversation was camera. Yes. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. I loved um, it. I don't want people zoomed in on my face. Face. Yeah, it's, not, it's, I, not, it's not on a, your gorgeous, it's, it's, beautiful it's face. Not, it's not a tight zoom, and yeah, it, we'll it's see. like it's, it's like, a loose it's, zoom. It's like, it's like a this, loose you know, zoom. I know, I'm, right off, I'm, I'm ready, ready for my close. You don't get the yeah, reaction yeah, yeah, of the other guys. Of course, of I could not agree more. We will absolutely oh, yeah. keep that. This is just more as a an additional option. Carol, why do you own this? Occasionally, I know why. Why does he own that? That's a great question. From a self-defense perspective. Not, Not the best great. To have to no. Unscrew yeah, no. Sword. Honestly, Kurt, I feel like better, it would be better to just hit them with close the face. Because this yeah. is pretty hefty. I was gonna say, hey, this, this is a metal session twenty-five. We're on session this twenty-five. Oh my gosh, you guys! We are to a quarter session. of a century. We are. Wow, that's crazy. Insane. And yet it's only been like one week. Yeah. yeah. That's the craziest it's part about this one game. It's been like two or three weeks. I guess that's it's actually no, no, technically it's been, been a been little over seven years. Seven years and yeah. three weeks, yes. So we started, what, the 27th was when we <laughs> left the last time? So yeah. the 27th to the, I believe it's the morning of the 7th when we wake up today. So that's yes. 10. If we wake up today. At if least 10 days, up. which is two weeks in this yes, world. That's right. Hey, think positive. If we wake up. It'll go fine. Listen, okay. You might just have to sleep in a little bit. Yeah, just a little. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. All right, I think we're ready, and we're going to get going uh, yeah, no, right away fine. today because we have a lot to get through, My and we have sweating. Fall of Red Dawn Stop after this. That. Hello, good oh, to your see hands you. Are sweating, Thousand huh? seasons, yeah. my friend. <laughs> a little. All right, here we go. Well, You're I didn't mean to. I dab it on that here. Over there. I dab it on the backs of the hands. Before. You're going to be seen and heard in three, two, and one. Wrote so much. Hello and welcome, everyone. Oh my gosh. Uh, Blue Box here oh, with hi. you live from uh, the Blue Box headquarters. Yes. And we're so excited to be joined today by our amazing Tears of Aired crew. Now for, uh, I think, the fifth session. Uh, Joe, is a fifth fire or four? Yeah, fifth, fifth session. <laughs> um, for Ramshackle, who is supposed Ram to be a one leave. shot. Uh, <laughs> yep. He just, I've tried to get him out. He just shows up at my door. Gar at, like, Garrett will take If you wanted me to leave, wait. you should have made the investigation less complex. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You could have just Fair said, enough. "Uh, Kiana's death's uh, over." Yes, and He's so we made it easy. We've made it more complex. Oh, sure. <laughs> As we're chronically that. in the business. Side. We've got all the cool cosplay happening, and we'll show you guys the cosplay in a moment. Hey, good to see you, Robert. Hello, Ewan. Good to see you as well, my, my friend. Me mute those emojis. Those are for you later. Um, yeah, maybe. All right, so a couple elf. things that you guys can I help me with today, ye mad chatters. Uh, one, we have brand new cameras uh, that we're using, not for me, mine's the same, but for all the players. So uh, let us know how everything looks. It should look a little clearer. Uh, color balance should be better. Oh, that's um, nice. Uh, but we can keep tweaking it, and I'd like to know if you guys do see an improved uh, quality on these. To me, it looks like the Ooh, the way it's handling. That's crisp. Yeah, it it's should be crisper, crisp. and it should be handling the light much, much you better. You see my ears jiggle. Uh, <laughs> I don't like that. My fidelity. Uh, uh, color looks really great. Outstanding. Uh, and then also, let me know. 
I had a certain millisecond delay <laughs> in audio for the old cameras. So as you're watching today, if you notice that the players are consistently a little ahead or a little behind the audio with their lips, let me know. I may need to readjust adjust. those levels now that I have new cameras. Yes. They may not be hitting oh, that yeah. three, seven, 375 millisecond out. delay that I had. <laughs> um, so and for whatever reason, your stream was in 340p. <laughs> oh, yes, Boba, how on earth? Yeah, everyone should have it's your stream gone. set as yeah, high as you is. can go in Twitch. We pump out at the full resolution in Twitch, 8,000 bit. We record in native 4K. Uh, but of course, you can't stream native 4K on Twitch, but we record in native 4K, and then the down step still produces better quality than if you're doing it at a, a regular native, at least theoretically it should. So. Hello, Tracy. Good to see you as well. It is going to be so much fun. Hello, Raiders. We just got the raid for games. Hello, all our friends over at TLG playing Aired Knights of the Road. Welcome back to Aired. Aired Knights. It's just an all Aired Sunday. Yeah. So you get Aired, Aired, and more Aired. More Aired than you can handle. I can feel it in the air tonight. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Things are gonna be fine. We're not. Uh, we're not joking because we're, we're nervous. We have no your one. kids. We're gonna be crazy. <laughs> um, all right. So as we get ready to get started, sorry, Amanda. As we get ready to get started, uh, let's go through a couple of announcements. We'll introduce the characters. We're gonna give you some cosplay close-ups today as well. They can show some tattoos. They can show uh, some weapons and other things that they have. Super cool stuff. Um, and reminder, we do have yeah, Ball of Red Dawn follows immediately after this stream and then on Tuesday night we have Sea of Dark Sun Ooh, and my goodness that's, that's in an amazing spot and then Wednesday night we are joined by June Solar who uh, runs Athascon uh, oh, yeah. part of the Dark Sun world mm -hmm. it's going to be a great time with him wow. so it's a busy busy week here on Blue Box thank you, thank you very much Manda yeah, all right I'm going to break this uh, <laughs> was the Erdian no she had yet okay so here we go let's start off with uh, character intros and we're going to go around the room we'll just go around the table in this direction all the way around. Okay. So we're going to start off and first of all, uh, introduce your character. Talk to us about your cosplay elements, which right. include for you something new. And <laughs> just yeah. so something you borrowed, guys can see, uh, here is... <laughs> Here is Daisy Bell. Go ahead. Aww. Well, I do not like close up, so <laughs> zoom back <laughs> out. <laughs> well, fiddle dee dee, awesome. you mad chatters. I am just your friendly nightshade ninja, level three. Mm -hmm. Just out there defending the poor and weak. What? Killing those that need to be killed. And, uh, go. you know, always got the hair on high alert. The hair on high alert. <laughs> Being the operative <laughs> word. Sticker. High. Sticker. Got my little flowers, you know, just pretty little things. Pretty little oh, things. Yeah. Just delicate little flowers. Delicate yeah. little, little, little flowers. Things. things. <laughs> got my, my jacket. It's very good. It's very it good. It is so very you know, nice. Very nice. Because I need to be stylish. Very nice. So stylish shade. and Such stealthy. shiny buttons. Oh, I like it. Stylish but stealthy. <laughs> stylish but stealthy. Um, there you go. So. Huzzah. Uh, that I, made me think of... No, never mind. I'll do that some other time. All right, Ram. What? Uh, I... I'm playing Ramshackle Lodgings, the Huzzah. inimitable investigator. Mm. Uh, man of many disguises, outfits, wigs, etc. Uh, I also have with me my cane, which I'm sure has nothing concealed within it. Nothing. As, nothing. Clink, nothing. as it should be, a clink, clink, clink. 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 Yeah, just ask a certain dead shopkeep. Yeah. Yeah, it was well, purely a blunt like instrument. <laughs> uh, all right, well done. And now let's go over to Mila. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. <laughs> it's me, Mila. Uh, <laughs> I am an Amdura. I'm third level. Uh, I have my lovely Finley, as always, Precious my familiar, course, my sweet, sweet boy. I love him dearly. He has saved my life on many occasions. He has also made many jokes. It's neither here nor there. He's great. Uh, I have a goddess. A her name is Lahazi. She's Big pretty cool. Guy. You should check her out. Uh, I was supposed to have gold eyes. I left those in the car, and so they got a little shriveled up, but now they're untriveling, so it's fine. <laughs> maybe she after later. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> My uh, eyes are shriveled. <laughs> She's in disguise right now. In her yeah. Ass. What's yeah. up with that? Yes. Who knows? Yeah, Nobody no. knows. knows. Maybe we'll get to you talk keep about bringing that up. I haven't added it to my question list. That's going on my question. <laughs> Probably a good idea. All right, let's go to click. Knock, knock, bleaters. 
click here. Recently poisoned vigilante <laughs> of the low quarter of Altamira. Elf, third level. Doing bad. <laughs> bad day. Doing bad. But bad cosplay day. wise, having a great time. I've got my little tattoo, Yay. broken key, got my got my friendship bracelet, got my vest with my uh, little handkerchief, which he normally wears across his face when he is click, and I have my Poisoned palm. Oh. Whoa, look, at, look at that! Look at that! From where you got yeah. Poisoned with the nether scale. Ah. And a little, a little snake as well. Oh. Ooh, theming, Ooh. thematic. You've Ooh, seen snake. it a little bit. Um, everybody, everybody loves the ear wiggle. And so <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's crazy like, about baby. it. Uh, all right, and then Where's last the but not least. Hi, hello. Dahlia. I'm Cameron. I play Dahlia, level three, uh, Verdant Bloodline, Blood Rager. Um, Some putty or something. Gonna get in a fight, probably. <laughs> probably gonna get my butt kicked. Who knows? It's 500 gold either way, right? That's right. That's that's more than enough. So that's that's Dahlia. All right, and with that said, let's go to what happened last time. <gasps> Who goodness? Wow, we left off. The episode before, where in just a beefy <laughs> conversation, <laughs> yeah. um, Mila and David were continuing to talk about the fact that David's life is not at all the way he thought it was. Yeah. Uh, he nope. doesn't, maybe doesn't have a demon in him, maybe doesn't have the soul of Tom Sorrow living in his body. Instead, he's got the hero who he thought was helping him the whole time living inside of him. Was it? Whew, still having some difficulty dealing with the fact that he might also be Click, because it doesn't make any sense to him. But that conversation continued in a rather awkward direction until it just sort of ended with David giving Mila a letter to read at some point <laughs> as they then made their way to the post office and for Mila to then send one of her own signs. letters. Okay, so we uh, have a we have a little delay. Thing. We always get that one on the top one. It's got something to it's do, I think, cam. with the slide. Yeah, and it's they a different us. camp. They so hate it's like, us. That's so let me deactivate. Good. I, don't know. Yeah. Why I think that's what it is. It is, it is, well, no, that would be saying something about the other side, so I can't say that. Yeah, it does. Okay. All but right. uh, you know, it it has been Hold on made clear second. to Click or to David that he might be Click, and mm. that's hard to believe. I wonder who brought that up. Who brought that up? Not, not me. No way. Mila would she never. wouldn't do that. Mila would never. Just like she would never steal a journal. She would never <laughs> bring up anything to anyone no. ever. She told, she told I'll me have the cam back up in a second. Thank you, patient mm -hmm. people. And I'm still. That still feels bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fine. What's wrong? What's a little stealing between friends? Well, <laughs> does, does Daisy know? Mm -mm. I don't think you know. Nobody I knows know. any of this. I know about the journal. She's, she's mildly aware of the journal. Yeah. yeah. And I and know the conversation that, that happened between her and Click. I know some stuff dog. about a lady. You are, unfortunately. You weren't here for that. I gotta re-listen to that conversation to know how much I know. <laughs> you should. <laughs> the click I mean, at the very least, no, the you as a yeah, character yeah, yeah. knows that David and Click share the same body because you've seen that change happen yes. numerous times. Unless Daisy's and, uh, still I really, uh, having and difficulty I want with to that. play into that. Okay. All right. So. Great. <laughs> then we'll All see right. where it goes. Against me. And so that <laughs> that happens. Naturally, of course. It's always antagonistic Our of you. Our enemy. It? It's gotta be. Um, they they then made their way back to Daisy and Dahlia, who were back at well equipped, being awkward and funny as always. <laughs> Daisy trying there. to spy on David and Mila, as always. <laughs> and we got back together. Awkwardly yet again, uh, David quickly made his way to finish on whatever mask he had made for Dahlia when Ram Which showed really back up at Well Equipped. No. But thank but, you. Hey, you know, these things happen. And <laughs> we then That's a perfect. It's re perfect. regrouped, talked about our plan for the night, made sure that we were clear on things, went back over the note that we had found decided what we thought it really meant, and then made our way to the dock district, but not before David made his way downstairs after the group had left, to get Click and have him go help the group. And boy, howdy, was that different to the previous times he's done it. Mm -hmm. And he let Click know he's getting off early tonight because they need his help, but they need to talk at some point, which... P.S. He didn't get off early this night. Who knows what that means or how that works. Um, yeah, not well, things got bad, but we'll get there. Because the group made their way to the dock district. Daisy, standing on top of a roof to overlook for 30 seconds before she got bored and went down to go get into a barrel and shuffle down the dock, only to learn that that's going to be really obvious, make a lot of noise, and not work the way she wanted. So she then went back up onto the roof she started on and saw a very familiar-looking man, at least familiarly described. Who is he? A bald the man, man wearing green linen robes, bare foot made his way down to the viper's nest where he knocked and then moved his arm in a weird way and, and seemed to continue his knock before obviously speaking something that she couldn't hear and made his way inside. We then decided, you know, three knocks on one side of the door, two knocks on the other, speak the code phrase no mouse and make your way in 
which Click and Dahlia proceeded to then go and do, beginning their plan. Kinda. Only this for them was... to fail on the very last step. <laughs> <laughs> there was we would have been long found pause, out anyway. But for some reason, they let us in anyways, which we quickly determined to be because there's a guy who wanted to speak to us. Matteo Rinaldi. Rinaldi, we learned his name to be, described as utterly smooth in all ways, <laughs> which is very interesting. But he, he offered us some drinks, we sat down, and he reached out for a handshake to Dahlia, which Click intercepted to make a power play at the table, <laughs> only to learn that that was a mistake, and he was then poisoned by nether scale venom from okay. a snake. So we I, so just to help you with mechanics, because we were at, we were talking last time, mm -hmm. so this is what happened during that pause, was his preparation of that poison. Had of you course. had the correct oh, passcode, you would, have, jerk. you would have entered, he would not have been prepared. Now, had he tried to prepare, you yeah, could have made yeah, a perception yeah. check we, or something else. Out. It would have still been confrontational, but that specific step was based on I love wrong it. It's, yeah, it's created the timeline that we have to hold to, and that's fun. That is, fun. it's a um, nightmare. It and, it's, and it's great. And so also a nightmare. <laughs> he then took out an hourglass and started asking questions and said if I didn't answer them truthfully, he wouldn't give me the antidote. And so Click mm -hmm. kept giving information about Glottimus, mm -hmm. about Drarius the Deposed, and eventually he asked, why did you speak with Juan Carlos? And Click said, I didn't. My friend did. David Preston. So bad. Yeah. It's so bad. It's so bad. Uh, <sighs> Which he gave under duress, but had to give because it belie he believed it was the only way that he would survive. Mm -hmm. And he did eventually give up the antidote, after which he told them, uh, this is not the only antidote you will need. You have 48 more hours and two more doses that you need. And you owe me 2,500 gold. And also, you're never going to talk to Juan Carlos again. And also, you're never going to look into my patron's business ever again. We were made very obvious that that was uh, Von Poppen, was his patron. Mm -hmm. And uh, we asked, is there any other way we could make some money other than giving up what we have in our pockets right now? He Which told we us, well, you could fight my man. And uh, Dahlia Wrong. then ripped her armor off, dropped her sword to the ground, <laughs> pumped her fists, and said, let's do it. And that's where we left off last time. And Listen, a deal's a deal. A deal is a deal. Oh, so 500 we, gold, win or lose, is pretty good. Oh God, uh, with that said, uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to play our <laughs> intro video, it. and when we resume, uh, we begin yes. episode out. number 25, oh. entitled Racing Grains. Why racing grains, you might ask? <laughs> well, because you couldn't see it last week. This is what I was trying to do last week. Now I will show you. Ooh. So we have this super cool hourglass here uh, that so I was flipping. Yeah, so cool. This is what they were watching last Last time you guys can now see can it on the screen. The My favorite part is uh, anytime we got into like meta whoops. rules conversations, I would just please, shove it to the side. Please stop. <laughs> and then you can just see that you can see each of the grains go down. It's super fun. We probably won't be using that today, but I just thought yeah. the audience would I like to be not. able to it's see still it. Very neat. And so, all right, uh, let's go ahead and watch the preview and, or pardon me, the video, and then we will be started. Bum, 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 bum. Are you, Are you ready? <laughs> no. Are you ready? I'm not ready. Milo's I've awesome. never, I've never gotten to do one v one stuff before in really? a game. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is a bad time to start. Yeah. Okay. yeah I'd say I hate so. that. I hate that. Uh, I gave Thomas a copy of my character sheet because I was like, I need help. Oh yeah, you, you probably will. Yeah. He literally, he already told me before you came in. He's like, just in case we get into grappling. Yeah. If we get into grappling. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me go ahead and pull up the, the rules. We'll try to keep it. Try to keep it moving quickly. If anyone decides to grapple. Wow, I typed it in about as bad as I oh, could. Oh, this can go so badly. What do you mean? <laughs> Probably not. What's Probably gonna go it'll bad? be fine. I wonder. Nothing's gonna go bad. <laughs> what could possibly go hey, bad? Hey, you know what, what I don't possibly You know what I don't like? Unequipping what? all my stuff. Uh, no, yeah. So you're you're basically you know you're down to your undergarments. Um, so oh. all your armor, all your weapons, sitting beside the ring. Plus four. Mm -hmm. What do I use as a D3? I guess half of a D6. Oh, okay. Great. Yep. 
Thanks for joining us, everyone. Uh, we do have a fun giveaway today. Uh, you're not going to want to miss this episode. This has got this one. This one's going to have some interesting stuff in it today. Uh, when it comes time. Yeah. But, I mean, I might as well right now. <laughs> well, yeah. it's it got the, good stuff. Swift action to activate. It's got challenging ah, stuff. So uh, somebody asked about the cameras and stuff that we're using. Yeah. Uh, I'll make a command by next week that you guys can just hit tech, and we'll list out all the tech that we use here on Blue Box. Um, in particular, I'm using a Free. black magic right. camera that's on the DM because it's shooting all the way across the room, so it needs a long lens. Uh, but the main cameras that you're seeing for the players and whatnot, it's brand new. They're called Instalink 360s. Uh, they're not cheap, but you can get them on uh, Amazon. They're on sale right now, about 40, 50 bucks off. But they've got a big sensor on them, so they're really good for low light. The light in this room is not very bright right now, and yet those cameras look bright, and they have gimbals on them. I have a stream deck that you can use to control, so one touch button is how I'm doing those zooms. It's so easy for a DM. This one actually has a hose on it. Oh. I can't yeah. wait to do tabletop terrain with that. Mm -hmm. That'll be so fun. We just got to get out of a city. <laughs> Lee, very true. How many gimbal standard units are they? <laughs> love it, love it, love it. All right. You can measure things in ticks. You can me measure things in gimbals. As Dahlia removes her armor with solemnity placing the great plates on the ground, pulls her blade, lays it on the ground. The half-orc, if he may be called such, moves over to the side of the ring. His muscles ripple beneath verdant green skin, broad tusks and a bone through his known, a nose. Cool. Give light to this intimidating visage. I'll show you what he looks like in a moment. <laughs> um, he's not as tall as Deke was, mm -hmm. but he is so wide, bound with muscle. Both ears ripped clearly from previous brawls, nose and face flattened, knuckles broad and flat and pointed on the tips where they have just pummeled and pummeled and pummeled until the calcium deposits have created these bumps across all the knuckles. Uh. As he looks down at Dahlia, there's a feral <laughs> and you hear him crack his knuckles in his hands just gripping them. There's a hushed uh, silence that goes over the tavern. Everyone is quiet except you hear some hushed whispers as people are changing coins and placing bets. If you look around, it's not hard to tell where the bets mm -hmm. are being placed. Um, Dahlia, as you are preparing, anything you're thinking, seeing, or feeling? Um, a couple things Dahlia does. You see her loosen her friendship bracelet, tuck it into Mila's hand. Are you sure this is a good idea? Well, it's an idea. She starts to take out her earrings. Uh, and puts <laughs> no. them in the oh, she took off the earrings, though. Well, yeah, if I'm going to get punched <laughs> in the head. Off the wig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God. I knew um, <laughs> The whole time. Um, that would have made the head shaving thing a lot different. Yeah. Um, I think that Dahlia is thinking uh, there is a, like, battle in her mind of, like, the fights that she has been in, which have been so fun and joyous inherently of like her time in the Twilight Woods with satyrs where it's like they would just fight for fun right, uh, and then like right. just at the end it's a, a pile of people just laughing and drinking uh, and just delighting and here is very different but there's something this is so much more serious but there is this like flick of a grin that keeps uh, biting at the side of her Ooh, mouth of these. this enthusiasm uh, to do this. And I, I think there comes a point where, um, you know, I think child Dahlia had a lot of like human softness in her face. And when you saw her again after the seven years, uh, a lot of that fey had come out. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think now you kind of see that, uh, that sinister edge that a lot of fey carry in them in her eyes as she's getting ready for this. Um, and there is like a, a squat excitement uh, to her body posture as she uh, kind of rolls up her sleeves a bit further uh, and brings herself towards the ring. Very nicely done. And I think she's like looking at Throg and excited. Uh, like there isn't uh, a fear per se. Oh. There is there is a knowledge that this likely won't go well. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there is an enthusiasm for that. There, there's still a, there's a process of learning no matter what, right? Yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, it is unarmed combat. Yeah. Um, the monster in the ring 
uh, steps back to allow you as you're walking toward it. <laughs> you can smell his breath from here. It's uh, mingling with rotted meats and blood. And there's a heavy hum of raw anticipation inside the viper's nest. Uh, as you step up on the wood, uh, the weathered wooden planks. As she goes to step, Click grabs her elbow and turns her just for a second. Red. Paint him with stripes. Can do. And I think, like, I push you back down the arm. Like, no, you, know, yeah. you, you, you feel the adrenaline her. surging through her. And I think with yeah. that, I, like, throw myself into the rink uh, and then, like, just kind of take a more, Thunk. like, uh, like, almost a, a pro wrestling, like, giddy, uh, where it's, like, almost inappropriate. <laughs> uh, there is... There is clear demarked danger, uh, but there is. Uh, and you don't and see it. You don't understand. I think like it's it's seen, it's not understood. Yeah. <laughs> you see a f uh, just the slightest flicker of surprise across the thickly lidded half orc's eyes. Um, he shifts his weight. The wooden planks creak <laughs> beneath his weight, and you see as he grates. Those tusks are pretty substantial. Matteo Rinaldi stands beside the ring. He holds up his hands as though preparing to clap, and he gives a meaningful look around the tavern. He clearly relishes these moments. He looks over at Grog, and the half orc simply, or Throg, and the half orc simply snarls. He looks over at Dahlia. Let's go, big man. Uh, <laughs> and with think, that, yeah. we go to initiative. Really quick, Should I roll John. this one? <laughs> yes. My green one never, has never failed me. Okay. That's Garrett's you green one. I'm lying. Roll your dice. Yeah. <laughs> I want my to use green one. Vacation. It's never, failed, never failed Thomas. <laughs> wait, what, wait, what was that? I'm used to I having green to dice. Use I use rolled vacation. Oh. Oh my God. You're not just out the gate? To use what? An invocation. Okay. Before, you wanted to do this before the fight started? Uh, like right when I see his hand starting to go, I'm, I want to do it. Um, I don't know how stealthily I can attempt to hide what I am doing. I'm going to try to kind of cover the glow of the necklace with both of my hands. Okay. Um, and kind of like beneath the hood, just whisper a small prayer. Lessie, please watch over Dahlia. She needs you right now. And um, try to send out that healing pulse. Because in her mind, she already knows that she can heal. If it looks like it's a natural thing and it's just kind of sped up just a little bit, maybe it'll be fine. Yeah. But as stealthily as I can, I'm going to attempt to do it. Okay. Um, there were no rules. Let me have you make uh, <laughs> no rules inside the yep, ring. That's what mine there were definitely right rules. Up. So make. The rules outside the ring were not <laughs> uh, Make a sleight okay, of hand. She's about to learn roll. about them. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to use five to get advantage. All right. You're using all of your pluses for advantage. Okay. Yes. Do you want oh, sleight of hand? Yes, yeah, sleight Great. of hand. Great. Roll two dice. Can I'm gonna do. I was gonna do one. I, I walk, just over, never I walk really. over to shackles. I'm like, okay. I'm scared. Do it. Do it. Do I it. really like Dahlia. Okay. I, uh, I'm, hoping. I'm gonna miss her. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she oh makes God. it out of the ring. Okay. Another funeral. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I rolled a 14 on the die, and that was the highest, uh, and I don't have any pluses to my sleight well, of hand, because I don't have any decks. I try to give her some kind of assistance with this? Well, she's being the surreptitious with her yeah. effort, so why don't you make a check and see if you would have even noticed? Just I guess that's oh, fair. Uh, so just oh, a perception check to see yes. if I notice what's going on. I can't see the screen from my... Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, thank more. you. Let me know if that messes the yeah. view that way. <clears throat> uh, I have a 19 perception. Ooh. Okay, so you see her doing this, and then what, how much are you adding? Uh, so I, I inspiration, right? Well, I, I'm not sure doing? how. Oh. So the way that I, I understand Can helping I normally works in Pathfinder is like you make the same check, and then if you get ten or better, they get plus two to their roll. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, that's uh, fine. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Can I also use my inspiration? No, you can't use okay. it. You oh, okay. can't use both. You can't stack those. Uh, which I got better than a ten. So that would be a plus two. Okay, so you get a plus. So it's a sixteen. So sixteen. All right. They're clearly watching for this. Mm -hmm. As soon as you make this motion and you see Mateo look over, ah, 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 no spell assistance from the side of the ring. That would immediately cause both the loss and the forfeit. Good to know. 
and she'll just nod. And you, and, and you get the sense you're not the first sure. uh, that would have tried this. So they were watching yeah. for yeah. it. Had you succeeded, I still would have allowed it, but yeah. All right, so uh, your roll on initiative. Five. A five. All right. Uh, the DM will roll, and I have a two. You yeah. have the jump. Um, Dahlia's going to go in and <clears throat> strike at him and then strike again. I'm going to use plus seven to do. Oh, you're just out the gate? Okay, yep. so you come just you come out swinging. Launch yep. yourself across the ring. Thunk, thunk, thunk. Do you thunk. use any other pluses Twin on your fist. I don't think I can. Rolling. You can only use... Well, you're using pluses to do two rolls. Can she also use pluses on the individual rolls? No. No, okay. so if you I use the, yeah, that's right. So you're using uh, your plus seven to get two attacks, and right. these attacks are at full attack Modifier. to hit. That's a 19 on the die and a 9 plus 7. And you started your rage. They both hit. Yes. I mean, he's, oh, yeah. he's unarmored as well. So, okay, yeah. Great. Definitely. So, you um, rage on. Go ahead. Yes, hold on. Nope, beep, boop, beep. Nope, good. There we go. And then. And so, I think Mila might lean over to click. Away. And say, um, I don't think I can watch this. And just kind of turn herself. It's fine, I'll tell you all about it later. Thanks. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think Dahlia, as like she goes in uh, to start fighting, uh, like clenches both fists and like that rage sort of ignites. Uh, and I think underneath her skin, if you were close enough, you would almost see the veins sort of like wriggle uh, oh! underneath the skin <laughs> as she, uh, and he kind of like lets out like that sort of battle yell. She's gonna go up for a punch and then just come down with yeah. the Yeah! All right. Um, Funk. Uh, you, you hammer a heavy blow right into the midsection. Oh, three one. Uh, the musculature one beneath six. is solid, but it's a good blow. Because it's twice. Okay. So four, 12, 16 damage. 16 damage. 16 <laughs> points of damage oh my God. with a pair of heavy one. thunk, thunk. Uh, you hammer surprise, like you see yeah, uh, there's a grunt uh, as Throg uh, staggers back, but as he comes up, his eyes are glowing red. <coughs> he coughs up a bit of blood, and there's a <laughs> smile and a snarl on his face. Oh, and goodness. So with, scary. With two meaty fists, he rushes in at you. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a move which the celerity of his movement defies the, the size of this creature. The mass and the speed with sure. which he moves are incongruent. And as he slams into you with a sickening thud... <sighs> should I roll on the screen? Let's roll on the screen. No! She loves it when I roll on the screen. <laughs> uh, all right, so here we go. The first punch as he closes in. I don't think it's going to make a yeah. difference, but... I think this is a fast and dirty. Your fight, armor so. class is what? Uh, a whopping nine. That's a hit. <laughs> that's a, wow. He doesn't need much to hit. No, um, not at all. Oh, I can't that's imagine he does. Not okay. at all, my boy. Not at all. <laughs> and the second one is a hit. Um, sure. A boom! Okay. With with remarkable power, <laughs> make these two blows attacks. slam uh -huh. into you. Uh. Um, <laughs> Why does he's, he two attacks? Yeah, he's, so he's doing two weapon fighting as a brawler. So this is oh, a he's brawler. Nice. He's That's a awesome. brawler as a class. Now oh, each one has takes significant minuses. Takes a day. It's, like, it's like two weapon fighting with an actual sure. weapon. Don't so he's got negatives damage, on but... each fist. Yeah. Um, uh, ooh, oh, six on the first die plus. Nice. Of course. Mm -hmm. I think I, I so think that's said, I think thunders, 12 points of damage with the first, eight points of damage. So the Ooh. first one clips you yeah. right in the side of the head. You feel your ears ring as your head snaps oh. back. Um, and just as quickly, the second blow catches you in the ribs. Come you on. feel a crunch. All of this, the adrenaline coursing through your body was ready for. What you weren't prepared for was as his head comes down, his maw opens wide, <sighs> and he goes to <laughs> chomp you with his tusks. Because oh, he's got a natural attack. He's nice. got a natural attack Three. with the tusks. Natural attacks are always free. That's if they're ridiculous. Yep. And That's why that is I a hit. That. Yeah. And, and you can potentially get access to them. Later. Only six points on the bite. So, only um, six. As as his maw opens, you feel it. It punctures your flesh. There's a squelching sound, mm -hmm. and like someone biting into ripe fruit, mm -hmm. blood squirts out, actually sprays you, Mila. She's turned around, <laughs> Why is it always you? Uh, I, don't I think clicks between her and... Okay, that's all right. Sprays out on you, click. Uh. <laughs> 
as the blood sprays um, and, and you feel fire and pain radiating from your shoulder and down your neck as blood uh, pours. Oh, he steps back and smiles at you and we go to initiative. Um, yeah. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Anyone else doing anything? Yes. So while this is going on, I want to take advantage. Okay. Of people being distracted. They are distracted for certain. And I would like to go sneak around. Okay. So you are inside the tavern, uh, or inside the the, uh, the viper's nest. Yes. And as you look around, you can see uh, the the door that you came in through. Um, the tables, Mateus, or Mateo is right by the ring. Uh, the gnome was over here at this table. Uh, where do you want to go, Daisy? Is there an upstairs? <laughs> um, if there is, it would be behind a door over here behind the bar. You know what? I will. I'm you can see the, the barkeep is standing. He's watching from his spot, the heavy set dwarf. Oh. There is a back door and a back window. But oh. you, I mean, you'd be pretty sure there are stairs here because you saw a second story to this building. Yes, I know. Well, then. What are you. Are you what? No, I, I like it. I actually, I don't hate it. It's just a very you thing to do. I, I oh, they're am, distracted. I'm going to go steal everything they own. I'm going to go she and like not steal. She's just looking. I'm just looking. But I am going to look okay. for uh, maybe bag laying down uh, that I can just swipe. And then um, I'm going to look for stairs. And I maybe go out the back door and climb up. Oh, so which is it? Because that's a lot of action. Okay, there. well, I'm going to go out the back door and climb up. Okay. Because um, I think I'm closest to the back door. Oh, yeah, you're standing right by the back oh, door. Oh, well, yeah. All right, Fiddle so... Fiddle dee dee, take me to that door. All right, so you see D D Daisy turns uh, and vanishes out the back door. Um, and we'll come back to you. And I'm still thinking Click Everybody. definitely doesn't see that. <laughs> Click You're is, covered in Click is paying attention to what's in front of him. All right. Uh, I want to do something, John. Go ahead. In, in character, Click is seeing an opportunity to coach. And yes. that's kind of taking over in him because he's a fisticuffs fighter right. by uh -huh. nature. Uh -huh. And so he sees this and he goes, Duck back, Red. Dodge him. Keep on your feet. You see, like, kind of my, I think my head almost, like, lulls back where, like, <laughs> there's somebody with their face buried into my shoulder. I'm like, can do! Uh, and, like, just kind of leans back forward into it. Uh, I love it. All right. And now we go to initiative again. Oh, oh, man. And Great. you're the only one that's ever going to roll it because you're the only one that's in the combat. Just keep doing that. Did you roll another five? She did. Maybe. All right. Let's see I what know, I have what'd, what'd on you the roll? die. Roll low. <laughs> I rolled a five. Uh, All right, no. so we roll again. Like Come on. I have a six on the oh, die. Born. Oh, okay. All right. You do heal. Um, yep. I'm sweating. <laughs> now that he's right there with you, you feel an arm try to rope around the back of your neck. Oh, he's trying to grab. What All is right. what is your CMD? Higher Ooh. now. Yes. And did you CMD is 18. 18. Yes. Okay. So yes, I did. Yeah, she did. so we'll do this. Uh, so I have a CMB. So we're grappling. He's trying to grab yep. you and and gain control of you. I have a CMB of plus 8. So I need an 11 or better on the die. Let's see what we get here. Oh, roll low, roll low, roll low, roll low. A 12. <laughs> That's rude. The dice, that hey, rude. that's rude. You feel <sighs> this thick green arm <laughs> he rope. Heard you say, trying to move away. Well, rope to around your neck, adding uh, indignity to pain, planting your face <laughs> right in his <laughs> hairy armpit as he ropes he around you, this round. gaining control of you. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. That's his action. Okay. Can I try to get out of it? Yeah, so you're gonna try to break okay. that. All right, so I now what you're gonna do, yes. you're gonna roll against his CMD, which okay. is 19. Great. And because you're grappled, you're at a minus two. Okay. So you're gonna make your normal attack minus roll. Two. So, so you add your, your, your normal base bonus, subtract two from that because you're grappled. Okay, so it's my CMB minus two, so that's nine, seven. And then I'm gonna use the rest of my Hold on. I'm doing my mental math. I'm trying my best. Thank you for being patient. No, take nine, your time. Minus two. And then I'm going to use plus four, so that cancels out. He's going to kill. And then plus two. That'll be oh, nine, 11. 11. So. so you need an 11 on the die. Or she has, she plus, has plus Oh, you have a plus one. Yeah. So you need an eight on the die. Yep. No! 
That's a seven on the die. Seven. Is that a seven? That's a seven oh my god! Die. I need eleven. I get a twelve. She needs eight. She gets a seven. Oh my so goodness! Good. Oh. All right. Uh, he grunts. Tries to get out. I think his biceps just too big, and I'm like, ah! He 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 leans over and he whispers, "I told Rummer she was inside you." Gross, Initiative. Dude. I, I think I just go. Ah! <laughs> I only have a three on the die. That's a four. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So as he spins you, you around, you're kind of moving again. inside yeah. the ring. You have initiative. Now you can attack or you can attempt to break him again. I'll try to break out again. All right. Go ahead. So that's just a plus so seven? So now you, so yeah, so now you yeah. need a 12. That's a nat one. Roll again. Oh, Got it. my gosh. That's a nine. She's good. Wait. No, she's not good. Why? Why? It was the second one has to be a hit. It was she not. needs to beat a 19. For his, what? She has a plus 11 to her CMB. No, not on the second one. She was plus oh, seven. To her. Well, I thought you said plus seven. Where's your CMB? Oh, no, no. Yeah, it was minus. She needs to beat a 19? Yes. Why? She rolled an 18. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Yeah. Yes, his CMD is 19. Nice. So That's great. I by love one, it. I guess. Yeah. No, oh, okay. give it. I like the idea give that like <laughs> this is close though like that it is so yeah close. like that feels great uh, uh, and <laughs> i think is so dahlia close. is like it's not a wash really reveling in that uh, uh like despite it being quite bad <laughs> Well, you gotta get a new piece of paper, my man. Uh, I do. I do. These are my. I like my old Middle <laughs> Earth the fumble fails, to the. Yeah. Uh, we like my, that for you too. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll, <laughs> roll percentile dice, please. Do you want to roll this one? Maybe. Big old one hundo. You got it. I'm gonna need the old glasses for these. These are really tiny. What's the roll? Seventy-one. Ouch. That doesn't sound good. Probably not. I, feel like, I don't know if it is good I feel or like not. Like lower is better. If you fumble, is that how it works? Yeah, I don't think we like high numbers. No. Uh, at all. On fumbles. Hey, you know, <sighs> I'm scared. We do what we can. Okay, this is not right. I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> because she rolled really high. I know she was so but, like yeah, every. No, I, no I, but she didn't. She rolled a sometimes s- the dice. Her first attack roll didn't roll well. Tell she rolled a stories. one on the on the attempt to break. Like no, it's like that. I, I hit oh, by one point. Like this is every. <laughs> He's not gonna kill her. This is so. Um, I already showed him my insides. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you so good. as you twist away, um, you actually expose part of your temple. Yeah. Unintentionally, his arm coming around strikes you right ah. in the temple. But that's got to get him in the funny bone, right? You, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. You Just hear, a little bit. You hear your ears ring, um, oh, and you are so dazed big. for two <gasps> rounds. Ooh. Oh, no. oh. What does dazed do? I don't think it's yeah. a bad Tell me about that. Yeah. What's that? That. Okay, we need an intervention. intervention. You're, you're actively I, leaving. I, I like, like, what is that? Know. What does that I'll mean? Ready in action, Thank if that's possible. What's that? I would love to ready in action. Okay, um, yes. It's bad, is what it I is. I told him that if it looks like he's going to kill her, to let me know, and I'm going to ready for good it. action. You're still just You're telling who that. But yeah, you, click. Oh, okay, all right. Um, click, or did you hear? I didn't. Yes, hold on, wait, let me see. Uh, yeah. You heard what I said about if, yeah, yeah. if, she, okay, if it yes, looks yes, like yes, he's yes, going yes, to kill her, let thing. me know. Um, That's fine. And she's just going to hit. She's no, just no, gonna hold dazed. on to that string of magic of... The feeling that if Great. oh if Dahlia were to die to that would that's be the worst that's that not would very, be that's not very worst hard. in the There's world to Mila yeah so she's just holding on to that little sliver of magic and just waiting and she's not even watching because she doesn't want oh, to see her get up, pummeled just, you're hearing the yeah. meaty thunks and the blood splatter I mean, and spray my extra and it is not her scene but she's just holding and For focusing on that little bit of magic Did and waiting just one? in case ah uh, no okay all right. Um, it's I his, think he does, like, as I'm kind of there in his arm, I think, like, there's that pushback of, like, scab forming uh, as, like, the healing uh, continues to happen from the rage. Mm, okay, uh, hold on. And it just kind of pushes out against him. Um, through the dim haze, you hear another grunt of surprise. Um, Where are you? <laughs> um, as he, as he sees this yes. happening and healing. It's so funny. Uh, beneath, monster to monster. Um... We'll come back to you in a second, Daisy Bell. Ram, are you doing anything as you're watching all of this? I don't know that there's anything I can actually do to help, is the thing. I have an idea. I'm not really a, a fist fighter, so I can't, like, oh. give any pointers or anything <laughs> yeah. like that. I'm really just watching, like, man, I'm glad I'm not in the ring. 
I couldn't I couldn't stand for like six seconds. I'd be done already. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, you would be. For, uh, either of them. Either of them a could stiff, have beaten me stiff by win. now. Yes. <laughs> you killed this man. Yeah, Chris is right. The bell has been rung. Oh wait, no, that was your head. Um, yeah, maybe are people, a better mouth. Are people jeering and shouting and making a ruckus? Oh yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Like like whereas there was that calm before the storm, there was that still. Now it's erupted. They're yeah. shouting. Good. They're yelling. I'm glad people are Particularly, into it. all the money was really toward Throg. Oh sure. Uh, especially, I mean, even those that know of, of the course. Reaver know her. Are any people losing wielded... money on this? Like, can I tell them anyone's like, no? <laughs> um, <laughs> did any of you bet? <laughs> we, we, we don't have any money. money. I know. We so nobody's money. losing any money. Yeah, they were uh, all betting uh, on Throg. Uh, click here's, Root of the gnome. Click here's Throg. Oh, what's that? Say? When, but, you know, but what I was saying is like, they know you to be a wielder of a blade. A yeah, right? yeah, Stepping yeah, into yeah. the ring this with a- This guy's home. This guy's a brawler. This is his home. That's fine with me to lose is something I'm not talented at. Click, click here's Throg go, what are you? And he loudly yes. shouts, "She's the Reva. Get ready." Can I make an intimidation check? Sure. To shake sure. You can. You can go ahead. And you can make that check. Yes. Fun. Uh, enhanced diplomacy. Okay. <gasps> Would you like this man to pee? <laughs> did you roll a nat twenty? Uh, I did. Okay. Which brings it to a total of thirty-five. Okay, roll it now. Roll again. Twenty. Twenty. Uh. 26 on the on the confirm. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do as a fair mechanic. I'm it, built for this. The, the reality he of feels different. The the, re <laughs> so the really reality of a little guy shaking. standing on the edge of the ring, you know, trying to intimidate. Oh, I'm not trying to make it, him it, it, right. But <laughs> even even with, you know, he would have heard the name. Re however. With that, with how good you are with that, with that role, coupled with the fact that he has just seen this strange yep. healing, stitching, this veridancy, I'm going to give him the shaken condition, which is going to put him at minus two for everything that he's doing now. He is not sure what is going on um, in this combat. And so... <laughs> I like that even if we don't do well at something, we leave people a little more confused than we found them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, and that, I think that's, and I think that's beautiful. our favorite trait. Yeah. That, is, that is definitely the case here. Okay. Okay, so it is now his, uh, no, yeah, he lost. I, don't, yeah, I basically you, don't have a turn. Yeah, you're stunned. So now, turns. So we go So you to, go crazy, man. Yes, all right, so it is. Well, I'll still heal. She can't take stuff. actions. Yeah, yeah, she can't take but actions. she's just yes. as hard to hit. That's right, exactly. All right, so uh, he is going to, now that he has you grappled, um, he is going to. Do the, bra the back let's breaker. Let's see. Is he going to go for the pin? I think, let, so let's show our, our, so we're still using the original grappling system. We do have our new grappling system, Mad Chatters, that we'll be launching soon. We if still you have, scroll far enough down, the romance one shows uh, up. The romance one shows up. They'll get us banned on Twitch. You don't want to so see it. So he <laughs> now is, he's grappling her. So now he is going to, as a standard action, he's going to make a CMB check with a plus five to try to pin, injure, or any so in this case or whatever and, and he's got plus five plus she's uh yeah okay all right you see him in the ring you hear dahlia bounce off the hardwood floors underneath the ring um there's a there's a uh, a crack inside the splinters this is a lot of weight coming down between these two and uh as she hits the ground what are you trying to say, John? <laughs> I'm saying I'm saying you're stout. That's, yeah. You okay, take fine. you take two points of concussion damage, and nice. he now has you pinned. Um, you were stunned for you were uh, dazed for two rounds, yep. correct? All right. So now round. we're just going to go straight to the next round. Um, so as you see, this Dahlia uh, hits the ground. As she hits the ground, anyone else doing it? I'm going to come to you in just a second, Daisy. Anyone else doing anything? I mean, I already tried to scare him the once. I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to do, unless you'll let me, but... I mean, I think at this point, it, it would not be realistic. Falling on deaf yeah. ears. Yeah, yeah there'd be he no... He has to be actively the, the, Yeah, He's the fact that you even... That I mean, it's miraculous that you, in the middle of a combat, in his ring, in his area, yeah. with complete control, were even able to create any effect is, is nothing totally short of a miracle. I, mean, I, was... I knew that I wasn't going to be able to do much for this. It's the one thing I wanted to try. And the like fact that I managed to succeed. Ground. What, the yeah. way you're squirming on the ground? Yeah. 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 Um, oh. Okay. Uh, so now that he has you on the ground... Make me dance. He has you pinned. Um, you see, he looks down. Is he watching your wounds heal? Yeah. He slips that arm around your neck. You see mm -hmm. him make one of these. Yeah. And nice. let's just make the roll here. Still got to make that CMB. 
although it's probably gonna be pretty good. It's a 15 on the die. Yep, that'll yep. do it. That'll probably Slips do it. Slips around, you, you Kira, and you see Dahlia's face begins to purple, and he yells Not in your ear. Not a good color on me. Not a good color. Mm-hmm. It's your turn next now. We're back into initiative. <laughs> So we'll go initiative. Because she's dazed right now. In theory, she can't yeah, do anything. Yeah, I assume she's I still can't really talk or anything. I can't see that far. You're a six. six. Another six on the Come initiative die. Five. Oh. All right. So he ha- now he's so he's called for you to yield. He, do you yield or do you re- keep resisting? If I yield, does that mean the fight's over and no money's won? You don't no, no, know. no. We were told even if you lost, we get 500 gold. That is what Mateo said. Is that? Yeah. I keep and wiggling I'm, around. Hold him to that. You're gonna keep wiggling I, around. I might as well. Uh, what's the worst that happen? Think of a couple of bad things that could happen. Okay, all right. So I don't know if you remember the rule of no rules. Um, as you keep wriggling around, Uh, whoops. Um, you you see, all of you can see. There's a there's a look of almost frustration. There's a respect yeah. that has been earned already. Like that not many people step in with mm-hmm. Throg and even though yeah. the combat doesn't seem to have gone very well for her, it was really that much first more touch. round hurt real yeah. bad. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean she smacked the snot out of him the first round and really you're talking about one point here, one point there yep. on the dice. Yeah. This is a very different combat. So just that razor's edge, no one else outside the ring would know that, but he feels yeah. it. And but you see this frustration on his face and then there's like this resignation. <laughs> And he tightens yeah. on the neck, and you begin strangling. Oh, man. You take 16 points of strangling damage mm-hmm. as you feel your windpipe shut off, bruising of the neck. Her eyes begin to bulge. Are you still conscious? Yeah. Okay. All right, that concludes. No, no, you lost the initiative. So what yeah. do you do? Okay. Um, I mean, I'll try to get out if I can. Okay. Uh, all right. So I mean, you have so many minuses yeah. to try yeah. to do that. So now, now at this, well, I mean, she can. I mean, it's she's so, just. I, I don't can so I now, tell you a fun fact? Because I'm trying to help her, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. If I've he never has done you pinned, before. no, it's okay. He's also denied his dexterity bonus to AC now. Okay. Correct. He's easier to hit. Okay. Correct. So you can, but but when you're when you're pinned, you get minus four to your attack rolls. No, minus ten. Ten. Yeah. She's oh. pinned. Ooh. She's yeah, at minus that's ten. That's bad. Um, so yeah, you can see right right here. You're at a, you're at a minus ten now because that's you're only against the defender's CMD. CMD right, right. I wonder exactly. if that applies to attack rolls as well. I'm just yeah. Curious. Well, well, look here. I'll pull up here. So when time. when you are a pin creature, right here. Uh, look, it's right here, uh, Thomas. Yes, yes, yes. So cannot move. Denied dexterity bonus. Um, CMB check to escape. Can take verbal or mental actions. Cannot cast spells. Like there there is. You, you, there is no way that she can make an attack uh, from this position. I mean, it doesn't say that she can't. It, it is effectively he's I got feel like her. The way that he has, yeah, he's got her pin. He's I on the ground. Like maybe fair, rear no, naked but, choke. Yeah. Fair. I mean, there, there is, there is. She can try to escape. It's a more severe uh, version of grapple. So if you is, want to try to do something like combat, you can, but it's going to be not. But I mean, again, you may not be thinking logically. You're yeah. raging. So play yeah. your character however you, you wish. Can to. I ask too of like right now? Am I feeling as though like is this the sleeper hold, uh, or is this like I'm going to get all the air out of your body right now? Um. Let's see. Because I think you could feel like of like, is he pressing that pressure yeah. point? Yeah. Roll, like, roll, okay. roll d20 and add your uh, wisdom bonus, please. Okay. Sure. I don't have one of those. <laughs> That's a nat one, so I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, no, actually, a nat yes. one. You are sure he is trying to kill you. <laughs> you just oh, rolled okay. a nat one. Yeah, oh, you also rolled a nat one. You you are you are dead cut. You in 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 this moment as yeah. the. If I know, if I think he's trying to kill me, I'm gonna try to like get okay. out, All right. not tap out. <laughs> The one thing All right, go I ahead. Got, you're you're got, no, no, like, no, like that, that one. What, what I'm saying again. is, like, she, oh, that one. She is mis and you. None of you know this. She is misapprehending his attention. She's not. She's, yeah, intention. she's not recent. just doesn't know. She, he's actually not trying to kill her. I know, yeah, but yeah, yeah. she is certain she that yeah. she is. So she I, will act accordingly. Click is going to shout. Just tap, red tap. Um. Can you make yeah. a persuasion check? Sure, yeah, yeah. I think that's pretty fun. All right, Dahlia does, does okay? have 11 okay? plus one. I actually one. don't. I, I, th- I think my 10 yeah, didn't get counted hand as long. Yeah, I think Neil's hand has just been on your shoulder this entire time. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. so she's and already. So I think I just have one. 
Okay, she's already used ten. I ate them for breakfast. So I don't know if she. I think she should have one left unless I'm missing. Like roll to oppose it, or just determine it based on my roll. It's a sixteen. I rolled a twenty-five total. Oh yeah, you. I maybe it pierces through the rage, and at least you hear my voice. I'll let you play it however you want. Absolutely. I think hearing that like friendly voice of like when Dahlia gets into that state, she's not here. Right. Uh, she's in the woods, and I think like the sight that she's seeing is green, it's lush, and things are that classic sort of black and white. It is kill or be killed. And so like I think she is in her fight or flight where she's like, I gotta get out of this, I have right. to go, or else I'm right. going to be, you know, eaten by this wolf or whatever. Like, doesn't exist in a realm right now where like there is just fun. Uh, or right. you know, there is mercy or yielding. Right. But I think hearing that, like, connection, uh, that hook of, like, here is a person who has cared for me for years. And she, like, very gently, uh, I think, like, kind of rests her arm on top of his hand and just two light pats. Uh, as she, like, I, I think, like, where his, like, bicep probably is, he would feel, like, a <laughs> smile. Like, kind of <laughs> tug at the lip of just, like... Uh, like a reassuring pat of like nice work my man uh and yeah just kind of like leans into like his arm of just like exhaustion <laughs> um wow all right so as you do that there is you feel an immediate release of the tension and um as he steps back Click there's a sudden <laughs> as he stands <laughs> and you see Mateo looks over as the half-orc stands up. There's blood streaming down his body, hers. Uh, but you see a huge, like, swollen edema in his abdomen. Looks like she's broken a rib. And as he stands back over her, he looks over at Mateo. His chest is heaving. And you see Mateo looks at Dahlia as though, <laughs> as though he's contemplating giving some sort of additional command. In the middle of his contemplation, click a go. All right, Captain Shock, 500. As you see this, you also see Throg's eyes. They glaze over looking at Mateo. And he turns and he thunk, 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 walks, walks away out. and, and oh, heads over and just plunks down in the corner. Yes, Mila's up and going to Dahlia Kay. immediately. There is now a is he silence. Still in the room? What's that? Is he? Is yeah, he just still here? yeah, he just he just slumps down in the corner, oh. breathing heavily, and he's just looking at you, and he's he's shooting. Like you, it's clear he doesn't like what just happened. He doesn't understand what just happened in the ring. He is between. So I made some other roles. There were some mm-hmm. other sort sure. of uh, morale roles and things that were happening here in addition to what he did. What he just saw from you, and then the fact that Mateo would even briefly contemplate, which he was, which is another role that I made, trying to punish you further, um, it has it has gotten through the rage of this monstrous creature, and he's now just in the corner. Aww. Uh, Dolly needs to dance on the floor. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, I did. oh, I did. oh did we get that? Yeah, yeah. I did get one. Right. Yeah. Thank you. That's oh. a full heal, right? That's okay. very sweet. Oh, thank or, you. Or five plus one. Thank you so no, much. Can she do it laying down? No, no, here's here's oh. the problem. Um, so, I owe you that, Tracy. There was a big update that came from Bouncy Rock, the makers uh, of Tailspire, this week. Oh. It broke the oh, whole oh. bunch of mods. Yeah. Um, I've only got a handful oh, that are working, and it's, no. it's hit the whole community. This happens every once in a while, so sure, it'll be back up it. by next week. And Tracy, I owe you one. I'll write it in my uh, notes right now. Yes, uh, definitely. That will that will happen. Uh, a dance. Well, I, yes. One. Yeah. One one dance. Dahlia. Um, for one Dahlia, Dahlia for dance. Tracy. Thank you very much, Tracy. Uh, all right. So where were we? I'm going oh, to. Yes. I'm right. coughing. Well, <laughs> yeah. da- Daisy hasn't done anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Daisy, um, you are outside. But I was doing this while the fighting was going on. Yeah, yeah, we'll give you okay. some time. Okay. Yeah, we'll get, and remember, the fight lasted about 30 seconds. Yeah. Oh, you know, well, that, maybe like 24 that, seconds. Not very long. Yeah. long. Yeah. You were supposed to fight longer than that. <laughs> I don't know how you expected me to do that. That man did like 30 yeah, points of damage. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, truthfully, she'd probably do a better job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. He's maybe gone true. down in his first two hits. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. He did 26 points of damage on the first turn. <laughs> that's true. Oh, that's yeah. a fact. I'm I counted. It was 26. It was 12, 8, and 6. Oh, it's ridiculous. I would have died. Okay, so you are now yeah, outside been, I would have been um, full dead. Whoops, wrong Same. one here. Just, just right, right off the bat, just from his punches. As you close the door behind you, you hear the eruption of sound and noise. You hear the meaty thunk. Uh, there's a strange squelching sound that you hear from inside. You're not quite sure what that was, uh. Uh, but you're alone outside. <laughs> uh, you know, it's late. It's it's nigh unto the midnight hour here, and the docks are quiet except for the lapping of the Unkwood River against the pier. Uh, what are you doing? I look for a window and I climb up. All right. As you look up the back side of the building, uh, you see there is, in fact, a window. Yes. There are no stairs on this side of the building. I don't need stairs. I'm a ninja. So <laughs> you're going to, so you grab, you grab footholds. There is a ledge. A man, all right. So go ahead and make your climb check, please. Come on, girl. You, you always things, get a right? plus two as a ninja when you have key points to your climb. Yes, checks. I do have a, my key points. Ninjas I'm a plus are, six. Are good at this. All right. This, this is all ninja right. stuff. And I rolled a fourteen. A four, so you rolled a fourteen oh, on the yeah. die? Yeah. No, eight plus. Oh, six. eight plus six, fourteen. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's. So you you find a foothold. Um, you grab a piece of. Um, warped board, not rotted, but warped. You're able to get a handhold. It's a bit slippery. Um, you're now halfway up the ledge. You can see uh, the edge of the window up above you. Um, do you reach up to grab, yes. grab it? All right, so one more. Ugh. Make one more check. Come on, you, come on. you go to push off. Ooh, 20, 18 plus 6, Ooh. 24. Okay. Give me that window. Okay, you grab the window. As you pull yourself up I to the sneak. window, I, oh, I sneak could be trapped. <laughs> I know. You you see, um, it is dimly lit inside. Do I have good news? There's a candle. Good job, by the way. Thank you. But there's a pane. It's it's a warped pane of thick glass in front of you. What? It's a window. It's a true window. So it's a true window. Oh no, glass. My worst. You know. <laughs> Better than you saw in most places in the low quarter, you know, but yeah. it's still warped, you know, it's it's poorly I'm gonna, made thick I try glass. To open it. All right. As you jiggle it, it's locked. Oh crap. Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, what do I see in there? All right. As you peer in, go ahead and roll D twenty. Seventeen. Nice. Mm. Pretty good. They're coming back for you. As you peer in. Hold on. You got all my good luck. You're, you're, <laughs> I know. you're outside of it. Because I didn't bring my. I mean, As yeah. you peer I in, I got 16 damage. Pretty looking good. through the window. Yeah. I feel good about that. You can see there's a single candle. Uh, yes. It looks like there's a desk. Um, and you can see several uh, sheafs of paper on top of the desk. It looks like a decanter of some sort of alcohol. And then you see movement. Movement? What is it? You see a figure leaning over the desk, slides open a drawer, stops. Bend down! (laughs) Oh my gosh! You dart beneath the window. You listen for footsteps. You don't hear anything. Are you looking up at the window, or what are you doing? Like your 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 head. Are you looking up at it? Are you looking down? Yes. Are you just looking straight well, ahead? Well, I'm out of it, but I want to look up. Uh, I don't hear footsteps. No, you heard no footsteps. Oh my gosh, John. <laughs> so cool. Good. I'm in so love with good. this. This is oh. so good. Um, I'm at the edge of a window so right now. <laughs> Robert said, glass. How did they know that was my weakness? My weakness. <laughs> <laughs> it's my kryptonite. Um, I, I, Even the night scenes oh. look so much better with these cameras. Oh my gosh, that yeah, looks so looks good. So cool. Try, it does look really cool. I need to look in there. I need to get in there. <laughs> this is inner monologue. No, this is spoken <laughs> out loud explicitly, <laughs> and we all know it. 
got a monkey. What am I gonna do? Ah, uh, <laughs> just okay. Well, He's there. <laughs> I don't know what As you're late, are you hear the sounds oh, wait. the sounds of the fighting have stopped. Oh, oh. Everything's gone quiet oh, downstairs. Nutters. <laughs> I loved it. Alright. Well Oh no. Dolly's dead, I knew it. Drat! <laughs> oh my gosh. She's just making a friend. <laughs> Should I run? Yep. Oh my goodness. Everybody's gonna die. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look back up. Okay, as you pull back up, you are startled to be staring right yep. into the eyes of someone who moves soundlessly to that When You were listening very closely. You see a large man clad in green clothing. His head is bald. His How? eyes are glowing. Oh, glowing. Oh, That's not good. Okay, well... I'm like, howdy! Ah! What if he, he gives you a quixotic no, smirk. A quick, uh, no, I don't. clip it! <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> come on. <laughs> as he does so, you see he leans down. <gasps> he opens the window. As he opens the window, you see he reaches into the folds of his robe. I'll jump down! No! <laughs> No 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 when you when you jump down yes yeah because see you, when you climbed up you're you're in the Unkwood River now no I was not. Yeah, perfect yeah where you climbed up now you it was right there on the edge I, I would not have jumped I thought she was on the <laughs> no, I thought she was on the dock I was thought I was on What's the that? dock. No, it only yeah. has a front dock. It doesn't have a back. No, 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 no. I She's on the did. back side. No, I... yeah, on the back side, it was very slender. So, for the ability to like drop, you can't drop straight down like that, right? So you're gonna you're gonna release off the window. No, wait a minute. I would have okay, thought right. this through. Well, <laughs> okay. I believe it. No, Start that no, again. No, no, you. She would was... not have lowered herself into water. No, no, she not. She it's just Daisy dropped. Bell. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I thought I was dropping onto a dock. Okay, fair. I thought there was like I'll tell a you, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll give you an acrobatics. Well, no, it's there is, but it's very narrow. Well, and when you when you like when you release from something, oh no, you don't I, go straight down. I would have. I would have. You're just gonna climb. Your Make way. an acrobatics check. <gasps> Come Dang on. You have pluses, Daisy. right? What is the chat thing? Okay, you got is, six pluses. I do. Uh, what what so what can, can I do with my key points? Advantage, oh, and you get plus two. Okay. I think maybe. We'll see. Fourteen plus six twenty. 20, okay. Um, you do manage, as you're releasing, you kind of look over one shoulder, you see it's very, so you just instead do a flat drop deadfall, you land, it is literally like it's a three foot ledge on the I'm back good side like of the side. That. As you land, you see he leans over and he's holding a sprig in his hand. You recognize it as nightshade. He shrugs, smirks, Close the window, you hear a latch. <gasps> now we go back inside to you sometimes, guys. <laughs> sometimes you gotta trust people. I know, John has put it in our heads that we can't trust people, and then sometimes we have to trust them. Uh, this so, is crazy, uh, I just asked, should, would I have recognized him? No, you didn't recognize him. Uh, no, no, I mean, I mean only, only, yeah, only from having seen him before. You know, but you'd know, you don't know who this is. I'd recognize that, but paid anyway. This is the guy that I told you was following you. Yeah. So All you right. were probably right to at least question his motives. Yeah. So, so let's go back inside now. We're back inside. And you looked over at Mateo and you said what to him? I, I said, that's it, Captain Sharp. 500 off. He pulls his shirt back, examines his nails for a moment. A deal is a deal. I am, after all, a man of my word. Mm. Your man's a good fighter. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Mila has like scrambled <laughs> up and has like put Dahlia's head in her lap and is starting to like just grab cloth and dab away some of the blood. And I'm totally out. fine with this treatment. I'm just like <laughs> laid back, like just suffering. I also hand back the earrings and, and, the, and the bracelet. I put and... them in while I'm lying down. <laughs> Um, as you do this, um, you can see there are, uh, you know, many people that are kind of milling around. They're giving you looks of respect. Throg just continues to breathe heavily in the corner. Uh, Mateo looks back at the party. 
dusk tomorrow evening, you'll get your second dose. Remember, you have two nights to repay. Now the debt is 2,000 minus what you provided. I am now owed 1,640 pieces of gold. A minimum of 800 will be given tomorrow evening to receive your half dose. Do we ah, understand each other? This deal keeps changing. Ah, does it? I feel like I take good notes, but perhaps I'm getting a bit old in my dotage. Uh, <laughs> with that said, I do appreciate it if you would collect your woman and please remove yourselves from my establishment. Understood. Anyone else doing anything before you leave? I hmm. do want to go to Throg. Okay. I don't know, like, how to... I'd go with you. <sighs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, and I Once think, I like, at a, at a distance, I would just uh, look at him and give him, like, a fighter's nod and just say, <sighs> best fight I've ever had. Before you guys pass, click hands off the beer that he never drank. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to bring the frog. Oh, but... no, even better. <laughs> Um, she'll, she'll approach. Goodness. <laughs> Where are you? You fight like a demon. <laughs> I think I lean in a little and I say, I might be. <laughs> Drink. You fight like a champion. You earned it. He takes, and take, as I mean, our as hands... he reaches forward, you see his, his hand is massive. Oh, yeah. You look diminutive next to him. And as it, just like the slightest brush, I'm gonna uh, give him a little healing. Oh. Uh, attempting to like kind Mila, of be covered. are you sure about this? You hear Finley's <laughs> voice in your head. Of course. I of realize course. you're a creature of kindness. It's part of why I love you, but this is insanity. Uh, uh, four points of healing, because I believe it's just a d6. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, you feel the touch of Lehezi through your hand in him. His eyes go wide. <laughs> okay. She's a good one. Thank you for not killing her. What's her name? My name? Her name? Both. Dahlia. I'll, like, I, I don't think I'll put my hand out based on the bad experiences <laughs> that we've had with that, but I, like, give him a, a like, solemn, deep nod. Oh, it's 2d6 now? Okay, uh, as you do this, oh, yeah, he, he looks at you. Ooh. Seven, sorry, okay. total, because right. it's 2d6. I hope we don't fight again. Be careful with material. He lies. He lies? Is that what he said? And with that, he takes a drink and there's like you could, there's like a finality as though he has just yeah. put a punctuation mark on yeah. the conversation. He's done. And he just broodingly nurses the mug that looks like a thimble in his hands. Could I insight? That uh -huh. statement of he lies to see yeah. if that uh -huh. is. Yeah, I mean he's not exactly a, a oh, riddle. No, <laughs> yeah. he's a riddle. Yeah. He's trying to be <laughs> yeah. so yeah. wrapped in the mystery. Yeah, he does. Wrapped in an enigma. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wrapped in an enigma. Twenty-six. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, uh, you saw a flash of hurt uh, oh. go across his eyes, as mm. though not only does he know that Mateo lies, but that perhaps one of those lies has in some way harmed him. Mm. You mm. sense that Daddy. from him. <sighs> All right, Good so know. now for, for sake of time, because right right we have a lot to get through mm -hmm. today, yeah. uh, I'm going to move us forward. When you get back outside, uh, you find a uh, rather frustrated Daisy Bell uh, staring perplexedly up at the window, tapping her finger on her chin. Daisy, you see the party come walking out, um, some thoughtful. You see Dahlia covered head to toe in blood. You made it! <laughs> you laughed in the middle! I did not want to see you die. Mm. I actually think she left at the beginning. <laughs> it was the beginning. Daisy, I my good not... luck charm. Right, well, well, apparently I'm, I'm not since you lived. What? 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 You would have preferred me to die. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a minute too. Yeah, that one was Finley. I think I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. What are you doing out here? Taking a smoke break? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I'm so glad you're alive. I really why do you do this. Petals, you curious little bug. What did you learn and why are you upset? <laughs> yeah, well, for a different reason now. <laughs> I think I'm like Daisy, just But I I like you still the same, Cleek. Um I think I'm just kind of collecting.
actively leaning as though drunk on all of these people, and I'm just so delighted. Like, <laughs> well, I just thought I'd take a look, Silu, around, you know, while everybody was distracted. So I actually got up to the window, but they have real glass here. <laughs> Click looks confused. As opposed he's, to in his set, he's, he like, says, fake glass. Yeah. No, I just thought they wouldn't have any, like it'd just be open air. I just thought it'd be open, but it was glass. Couldn't so, you see that from the roof? I don't know. It's dark. What did you see? It's dark, okay, Dahlia. Give me a break. What, what now, you I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. Get this. I went up there. I spied into the glass. I must have good vision, because I saw. <laughs> Through the glass. Anyway, Through there was a candle the flickering. Then I saw the glowing man. The, glowing the green man. glowing man. The I, green I, just, glowing man. I, I just realized. And this time, he actually was glowing. I feel like just John added that color as a detail. No, no, no. It was, it was always there, actually. I've got no. I promise, okay, all right. I all right. What color was his eyes glowing? Um, was it green? Well, you, they, it, so, geez. I hid. Well, I saw him. And then but I not, saw But not like yours. Not I, did. Did. I was about to say, what's that? I, I hid. I, I was, like I was hanging. I was uh -huh. hanging by, by the skin of my teeth. Then, your teeth? I win we're walking and talking, by yes. the way. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely then, walking. I would also away. like to perception to make sure we're not getting followed. Uh, yeah, click will do the same, I think. Then I went up and looked salute, and he was standing right there, glowing eyes and everything. <laughs> and then I dropped to the ledge, because I'm good like that. I got the edge to not fall into the unkwood. That's great. Then, but get this. I'm so curious. I've got to go back. Somebody's got to go back with me. Why? We'll be back tomorrow. Well, well I want to stay here and see where he goes. Why? Click. Calm down. He, he pulled out. He pulled out Nightshade. And, like, waved it at me like he's taunting me. What? Yeah, I, what is the right word? Do you think he could be an ally? Ally? Foe? I don't know. Oh, And you don't recognize him. <laughs> You yeah, really are a poet. No. <laughs> I, I don't. She didn't even don't, know it. Don't, don't. <laughs> okay. uh, so I, I must know where he goes. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny broke out there for a second. Come on, wow. Come on. Come would it be worth it to wait here and see if he leaves? I would like to. Didn't we see this fellow arrive? And we, we did. did. Well, we, we did. didn't actually see him arrive. Is he, what I'm saying. He, he so has, we might similarly well, miss him if we leaving. Think about it, if we think about it, shackles. Shackles, just think about it. <laughs> the only reason Have we knew the knocks was because he went in front of me. And yes, I was able to but get... I'm saying when maybe he, he, maybe when he was ally. there, he simply just showed up. That's a good point. So yeah, when yes. he leaves, he might similarly just Remember, like, you vanish. were watching, you, you never saw him, go him down approach. The docks. And yeah. did you see what he was looking at on the desk? Was he... He... he oh, stealing? Did he open... He opened a drawer. He yeah. opened a drawer. He opened a drawer. I don't know. He opened. I, I, I didn't look long enough because then his eyes were going to look at me. I can't imagine that Mateo would have known who he was. He got <sighs> in knowing the password. Maybe he did have ulterior motives. Oh, I have a then. guardian angel. Perhaps. All right. So. 24 perception, just to make sure we're not followed. Okay. Or that this guy's actually leaving and we so happen to I'll, see I'll him. I'll help you. So you guys, you do not see him again. <laughs> we maybe hang around Classic. an hour and okay. then go back to well-equipped. All right. You hang around him. for the hour. You see there is no further traffic going to and from uh, the Viper's Nest. Whoever's in there seems to be staying late into yep. the night. It's past the time when others would come. Yep. You see no sign of this man uh, who appeared seemingly from nowhere, does not seem to leave. Uh, you have no sight of him. You make your way through the chill evening air of this uh, nocturne, the seventh, which is now turned to the eighth. Mm -hmm. um, Happy no, the no, eighth sixth, of nocturne. Then, six, now we're the seventh. Then yeah. now turned to the seventh of nocturne. Uh, yes. You reach well equipped um, through the snow, not falling, but still on the ground. Uh, it is getting bitterly cold by the time you reach it, Dahlia. Uh, even though she has a natural resistance to the elements, rarely shows any impact of them. Loss of blood and weariness, you see even she is now beginning to shiver. As you make your way inside, well-equipped, close the door behind you. Uh, the welcome sight of the ever-burning fire uh, is there. Uh, and, by the way, that's not really a thing, chat, but since I 
have Tailspire and it's <laughs> always burning. The fire is now never yeah. burning. Yeah, fire. Um, it's magic. David yeah, learned magic. magic. <laughs> and that's all that he hey, you, you step inside. What are all of you doing this evening before you go to sleep? Um, is Click still feeling anything from the poisoning? Oh, yes, thank you for asking. Um, I <laughs> forgot hate to mention that. that. Hate that. Yes, yes. Um, your hand aches. Um, as you walk through the evening, you have still that clammy, hot sweat. Like, like you've got chills, but you're sweating. And so um, I'm even colder because that's exactly. Yeah, you're getting a, you're getting evaporative colder, cooling. Um, We're just both shivering. And we'll talk more about what you feel the following morning. But yes, you definitely still feel this is coursing through your veins. As as we walk in. At this point, I imagine a, a, a pretty nice headache has taken over mm -hmm. Click, and he just stumbles over to the fire and sets a jug that he pulled from the kitchen area right next to near the fire, goes to a jar, pulls out what looks like some red petals of some sort and pours them into the jug and sets it to the side. Give me that in the morning. I'm going to bed. And he walks up to the bed right. and sleeps in it. I... <laughs> I am not going to be sleeping tonight. <laughs> I need to make sure that he doesn't die in the middle of the night. We don't know what it is. I mean, we know what he gave him, but it, he could be lying for all we know, and I need to make sure he doesn't die. And I, I also need to patch you up. You are a bit bruised. You want to come help me downstairs real quick? Yes. Okay. Um, and I think I would, uh, you know... Depending on what oh, wow. Daisy does, but oh, Ram, what are you doing before for tonight? Before you go, I would uh, probably before Click actually goes to bed, uh, I would go over to him and, and like grasp your hand if I can. Uh, Click, yeah, you, you go, probably you go don't let me do it. He pulls his hand away when you try to shake his hand. As you do, you right. see, you, you see the necrotic-looking yeah. veins and, and the hand spidering on his hand, shaking despite the fact that he's near a fire now. <clears throat> Click, what? You have saved my life earlier this very week. I will be here tomorrow morning to help you. And the day after. Go get some rest. Be careful. Yes. And thank you. Um, the same goes to all of you. Should we... Dahlia kind of pauses for a moment, thinking about the building that they're in, which is David Preston's mm -hmm. building. And I think she kind of turns to Click and goes... Should we find other lodgings for the evening? I said his name. What's the use? Also, what happened? I'll tell you in the morning. You might not be here in the morning. Well, I'm hoping you will make sure that that happens. There's definitely a flash of frustration <laughs> that she just takes a deep breath in and just lets it go. <laughs> Click is very done with tonight. <laughs> we have Gretchen's we could go stay at. I worry that um, a lit match and inopportune timing may make for a not so restful night's sleep for us. This man wants 1,600 gold from us. What does he benefit from killing us? Good point. Good night. Good night. As Click moves up the steps, now uh, you're reminded how light he is. Um, he makes almost no sound, despite the fact he seems to be stomping. Um, and he's, he reaches the steps. You can see he's breathing heavily as though it was an exertion uh, for one so incredibly fit. It's obvious that this is still taking a toll. He slumps into the ground. Um, <laughs> Her click was shredded. Shredded. Um, Anyone else doing anything? So Ramshackle heads off into the yeah. night, back to his dwelling place. Anyone else? You're you're standing vigil with him this and night. There's a cot outside of his bedroom that you can I'm sleep in if you want. Dahlia first. Yeah. Okay. So what are you doing for Dahlia? Dahlia's gonna go down to the basement and <laughs> rage out for a little while. <laughs> On my punching bag that uh -huh. you already broke. <laughs> yeah. Well, I fixed it while you were gone. I'm fixed. <laughs> Yeah, she did. I'll, I'll mend it as well to yeah. like magically actually stitch it back together and so fix yeah. it. What, what does that look like when she goes? I mean, she's still in pain, but what is that like? What is she doing? I think uh, Dahlia just kind of like is like finding her space again, getting comfortable, like sort of cleaning up her own wounds, and is like sometimes uh, if I'd get into a scrap in the woods 
and I still had a little bit of energy left in me, I would just go find somewhere to kind of freak out for a little while and uh, patch myself back up. And then just starts wailing on this punching bag. Uh, like, pulls herself back up into a rage and is just like, boom, boom, boom. Like, it's not, um, it's not out of, like, anger. It's out of, like, this is what I have to do to make myself not feel bad anymore. <laughs> like, mm. uh, this is how I make the... This is your coping mechanism. Yeah, uh, like, there's there's no, like, oh, I'm so mad, I gotta let it out and punches. It's right, just right. like... It's methodical, mm-hmm. I think, is yeah. the best way to put it. Nice of just statement. like, uh, I can't sit here and enter into this state. I have to be active while I do it. So, you know, it's almost like fighter's practice, where it's just like, yeah. uh, just kind of rhythmic for a little bit. For Nicely done. five rounds, and then I fall over. 30 seconds. <laughs> Once she's punched herself out, <laughs> yep. um, she'll help her over to a chair or even the table, potentially, depending on how bad these wounds are, and start um, cleaning them up yeah. and making sure... So the bite, bite mark. Yeah, I kind of like pull the, pull the shoulder, <laughs> and I'm like, I oh. gotta get another new shirt. God, those <laughs> tusks took out so much. And you see, not only is their flesh gone, you can see the clavicle, the collarbone here, there's a there's a tooth that grated along the edge of it, scraping the top of the clavicle. I, I can fix your shirt. Just let me fix this first. Thank you. Yeah. This looks bad. <laughs> She'll it, just start getting I'll to tell work. You, it didn't feel good. <laughs> I but it was fun. <laughs> really? I'm glad you had fun. I I'm sorry I could not. I mean I was there. I could hear it, but I I could not watch. Was the hearing it worse than? I, I think so, because it was more left to the imagination of what was happening <laughs> as opposed to what was happening in reality. It was not my favorite. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just glad that you're alive. <laughs> Me too. I thought he was going to see my insides, and I'm really glad I that thought he did. so too, and he I was. really keen on that part. I was. <laughs> I wouldn't have let him do it. I know you wouldn't have. Both Click and I, we, we were ready, just in case. But, um, what were you going to do? Were you going to give him the old one, too? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Me and these guns? <laughs> <laughs> she does like some wimpy throws. <laughs> I, I watch intently and delighted. Uh, I do know that's how to pretty throw good. a punch. <laughs> okay. So after all this, you. any healing, go ahead and give the numbers yeah. and the yeah. stats. We're going to pa- pass through all that yeah. role play. You go through the night. Okay. It's pretty good. Um, each of you sleeps in your own manner. You decide whether it's a fitful or a sound sleep. Uh, You decide whether these are dreams which are muted by the exhaustion that covers you or tormented by the things which have occurred. Yes? Do you not? Yeah, yeah, I I, I got it. it. Um, Just two decisions. You could have done the invocation if I was um, raging too. It is is bright and early the next morning when you hear... And you look through the window, you see Ramshackle. What's he look like today? Uh, oh, God, I don't know what we're doing yet. So I feel like he might just be... And actually, he might not be in, in any disguise at all this time. You might be seeing <gasps> regular you Ram in see his, Ram. his middle-aged but we self. But know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you wouldn't necessarily <laughs> know that. Yeah, yeah, you can tell that I'm not older or younger than I was as I have the been. I now, I'm now, it's like remarkable yeah. how good this outfit looks. This it looks so guy. real. It fits him. I'm so sorry. Last yes. thing. Mila would have, uh, after go- going up to make sure Clig isn't dying in the middle of the yep. night, uh, she would have read the letter. Oh, okay. Yes. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. We can do that. Oh, do we want to read oh, it? Because yeah. we did read it last oh, we, oh, oh, that's right. You read it. Oh, see, that's right. Yeah. So we I read it. it. here. And it's in the chat, right? Give you put it in the Discord. Oh, I forgot to put it in the Discord. Okay. I, we'll I will post do it that. in the Discord. Um, um, for sake of time, maybe we'll read it at the end of the stream mm-hmm. today because we, we are running tight. We want to make sure we, we get, get through. Uh, we got lots of stuff so to get through. Just so as, as a friendly reminder, Click said to bring him that liquid that was left by the fire yes. in the morning. And you come up, when you come up, there's actually a note written on a small piece of paper on the uh, the dresser or whatever in his room. And it says, morning, David. Something happened last night. You're going to want to drink this. Mila can answer any questions you might have and help you if you still feel bad afterwards written there on the, on the dresser. 
Okay. Is All right. So, so before before we before we come to what happens mm -hmm. here, um, I need uh, the three of no the yeah the three of you each roll d twenty please. Not and just give me your raw roll. Me? What? Me? Mm -hmm. Not Daisy. Oh no, actually, I need you to roll as well. Uh -oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> come on, thirteen. A three. Mm -hmm. Oh crap. Uh, Eleven. Twelve. So, so 12, 13, 11, 10. Or 13. Oh, 13. 11, 12, 13, 3. Oh, blow is good. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> Dahlia, when you awaken in the morning, uh, you kind of roll over, everything hurts. Your body is one massive sore. Um, Mila's best ministrations were meager. Um, but as you roll over, your hand brushes against something, and you see there's a piece of wood laying next to your bed. It, you look more closely, it's actually, it's a painting. Is, you, it, <laughs> is it the nasty painting? You flip it around. <laughs> it is the work of Gregorio Groman. It is both tacky and beautiful all at once. Yes! It is the erotic art of, <laughs> of the romancer of the low quarter featuring yeah. those three people in very unusual positions with unusual <laughs> implements, which you so admired inside the gilded cage. Mm -hmm. It sits beside your bed. I feel like Dahlia would think to like uh, some sort of lore of a fae creature who would like <laughs> run around and like give you some sort of strange gift uh, at Winter's Crest or roll, whatever. Roll knowledge nature. Uh, and would just be like, oh, this is amazing. 16 uh, plus some because I mean, I'm actually good at nature. I mean, it might be that. Um, hold on. Yeah, no, just, I, I, so you have heard of such creatures, but in your reckoning, they don't come into cities. Yeah. They would. They would not come into you. you you've never heard of one. Also, that would so you know of such creatures, yeah. but not not that would come into a city. This was, this was left inside of Well Equipped. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> worrying. It, I think I would me. like. And Mila <laughs> didn't sleep. It saw and heard nothing. I imagine I slept in the hammock, and so I like <laughs> so kind of like pick it up, and I'm like, I gotta find a place to hang this thing. <laughs> and I like go climb up the ladder, and I'm like, guys! I like throw open the door with festive cheer, and the first thing that comes out is just. <laughs> Nasty painting, <laughs> just straight up out of the hatch. Wow, that's quite the Amazing. work of art, right? I, I mean, I don't get what you like about it, but did you it's all you. Get it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I put it down. I climb up, and I'm just like, uh, 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 oh, oh. I don't know. It was just there when I woke up. The universe this is just the always from, brings uh, things back from to the those who do good. I mean, that lady looked over. I feel bad. That appears? lady really wanted that painting. What? And she's just going to go downstairs <laughs> and detect magic and just look around? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, as you concentrate, um, it's, it's, you, it's very hard to concentrate as you're looking it's at what's happening fireplace. on this portrait. Such things don't look anatomically possible. Um, oh. and, <laughs> <laughs> and and yet as you're as you're you could only you describe the money. vivid nature it looks almost like it's yeah. done on some sort of velvet um, and the vivid nature of it uh, looks magical with the art hmm. that was done but you detect no magic on it and how one person could could cram such Beauty and tackiness, <laughs> tackiness and splendor, all in one. It's this this cloying contradiction of incomprehensible. Art. Yeah, it's 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 it, it, it's jarring to the mind. <laughs> as soon as she realizes it's not magical, she just turns it off and immediately stops looking at it. <laughs> it's not everyone's taste. It's fine. I don't know whether to be extremely worried or extremely happy for you. Why not a bit of both? Oh, David! Oh, drink this, please. <laughs> All right. And it's... I don't know what it is. It's vinegar and red nettles. <laughs> which Glad is... I don't know what it nasty, is. That's nasty, Which man. helps with headaches. And he, he downs it, and it stings, and he doesn't like it, but he, he sits in a chair and settles. Oh, I'm not feeling very good. Well, good morning, David. You look like you had a rough night. Yes, <laughs> I read this letter that someone wrote. What happened? God, I... I think Dahlia could probably help inform a little more than us. We showed up after it all had occurred. <laughs> I don't know what happened to you, 
but I know is that. Ram with us at this point? What's that? Is Ram with us at this point? Uh, Ram is yeah. Ram is yeah. knocking at yeah. the door. You've not yeah. let him oh, in okay. yet. I'll walk over <laughs> with uh, my painting in tow and <laughs> open the door. And uh, like, by the way, Pat, 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 come on in. And I'm just gonna put a glove on your hand. <laughs> Check out this painting! Oh, wow! <laughs> what she holds so in front of you is as I described it, except you have like yes. a three foot. Yeah. Um, yeah. You it's know, a, gaze yeah, she just puts uh, not part of the anachronism. Your... It's Cameron yeah. and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. The yeah. It's getting closer. Face face yes. Little yes. Girl. That's perfect. Yes. Yeah. Now that is striking. That's art, right? That is art. It's art. <laughs> I cannot say it isn't. Come on in. Wow. Um, I right? like that line. Before. Before Ram came in, Mila shoved a glove onto oh. David. Yeah, that was, I was yeah. actually hand. going to. And she looks at him and, what did you say? Um, I assume you don't want this to get out. I'll explain everything later. It, it will be okay. David goes and sinks into his leather chair and quietly sits there. <gasps> Buddy. Shackles, that is your best outfit yet. Mm. Yeah, I think you're getting better at this costuming thing. <laughs> yes, I am in now quite the. Now you just gotta the, get me a wig that fits I am like in that. quite the practice disguise right now. Well, that you could say. I mean, very good. <laughs> it does. I've look brought like... a little bit of extra money. I've got. Uh, so you told me to roll two d ten times. I yes. assume it was times ten last yes, uh -huh. time. I got uh -huh. eleven, so I had one hundred and ten total. Gold. But he only brought okay. fifty to the Viper's Nest because he wouldn't bring all the money he right. had. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, so he's got another that. 50 here <laughs> that he will throw in Damn. to the pot, as it were. You keep yeah. 10 for yourself. I keep yeah, 10 he kept for 10 for himself. That's yeah. for living expenses. I can yeah. make, I can that make 50. more you money. Do, Thomas, you yeah. gotta do your accounting. Are, you yeah. right. are you accounting all of our no, numbers? No, I shouldn't. I yeah, 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 I was just say the one person. I mean, you shouldn't trust me with anything. You're the employee of Well Equipped. I am an employee of Well Equipped. I have that written down in my notes about you that I really don't know if you are or not, honestly. I got 100 gold last time. You got paid, and that's why I'm so confused about it. Mm -hmm. Yep. As you should be. Because I'm okay. an employee. Um, I think Dahlia kind of sits down and just goes, uh, I don't know what happened to you last night. David uh, looks at you once Ram is in the room and... All I know is that last night when I went to the Gilded Cage, or Fibers the Fibers Nest. <laughs> Too many places. Too many places. Too many hits to the head. <laughs> That's um, very fair. The Viper's Nest. Click was there with me. And Mateo went to shake my hand. And I went to shake his. And Click intercepted it. And got a needle of poison directly into the hand. And Mateo began to question us. And he was not happy with what we've been doing. Um, meddling in his business, talking to Juan Carlos. When you say talking to Juan Carlos, David sinks even further into his chair. Um, basically, he said we owe him 2,500 gold over the next two days. We Correct? 800 today. 800 today. The rest upon the next day. Uh, and upon each delivery, he will give us money to, or uh, anti-venom? Yeah. Is that what I, I was like, Correct. it's not yeah. a, uh, yeah. what's the word for not a poison? <laughs> um, yeah. It's a cure, it's an anti-venom. Yeah, cure, yeah. Okay. Uh, something to help with the, the poisoning. The moment you say more anti-venom to come, David leans over and pukes next to the side of his chair. And I can't imagine that that was a hard thing to do, because he's probably <laughs> oh, feeling very bad. I will make you roll bad. for it. Um, roll, to, roll to throw up right now. Yeah. Mila immediately Making starts to go chair. get something to start cleaning it up. <laughs> oh, that, of course she does. On brand. S sorry. <laughs> I can't stand to hear about the things that if I could. It's okay. <clears throat> sorry. We should visit Fauna, at the very least. We're going to have to visit a lot of people today. Are we going door to door? I think what else we could at we least do? ask Fauna for anti venom. She deals with stuff like that. Yes, Fauna it's, might have something. This is something different. Well, maybe she this, knows. Do we know what it was? It never hurts to ask. Nether. I've, I've dealt with nether bottoms. before. Not the same. Nether, 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 nether bottom jeans. Nether. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was the nether scale snake. Yeah. Nether oh, scale. that nether was scale. it. Yeah. That was it. I knew it was it's, nether yeah. something. It's not from around here. I that specifically but believe that Fauna's capable of anything, but and this I will just might provide be. as much as I can. Yeah. I say we go there at least to start. Okay. But we're gonna have to see a lot of faces today. Okay. That 
painting? It just was here. I don't well, know. Well, how did it just there, get there's here? There's not a note on it. There's not. Oh yeah, I'll flip. Like, is there a you signature fl- on the back? You flip <laughs> it over. No, you 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 see the um, both on the front of the painting and as he was wont to do. Yeah. Um, the flowing signature of Giovanni oh, Graman on yeah. the back. Yeah. Um, and somehow the way he does his M makes it look somewhat lewd, even in his signature. Love that. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. As you should. Thank you for that detail. Well, uh, no. I'm just Quite honored that means. Yeah, come on, guys. Be grown-ups. Um, um, thank grown you for ups. that detail. <laughs> <It's> John. <Yeah. laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Nice. Da- David will look at that. We have money to make. I have a painting to sell and a buyer who I know would be interested. I, and you have a businessman to sell it. Is this the kind of business you want to get into? I mean, we're partners in this business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a good egg. <laughs> into I think Dahlia like is laughing, and you would almost see like uh, a pinprick of tears forming at the corner of her eye. Of like, this guy is so resilient, and. Uh, lost in something right now. Like, doesn't fully understand most of what's going on, but, like, poor kid woke up super poisoned, and I know that much. (laughs) Um, I think it would be smart to split. We have a lot to do, and it seems like little time. Okay. So who goes where? Uh, Mila would like to go to Fauna's. I want to go to Fauna's. Oh, that means we... Then we shall go together. together. I have an office in the merchant quarter. I might be able to find a place that would be interested in buying the painting. Maybe. You could also go to Thoden. Also, also true. Didn't you say you knew an individual who was interested in this painting? I don't know how we would find her, but that woman in the shop. Shackles, uh, do you know what did she look like? I, would. I mean, the woman that was in the gilded cage. I don't know that I know. You know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you would have no idea where yeah. to find her. Yeah, You're an investigator. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. Could, you, could, you could attempt I mean, I could go look for her. Go back and ask Griswold where his yeah. customer went. Yeah, uh, that sounds oh, like a really drama. good idea. I'll just have to prepare speak with Dead real quick, and then we'll get right oh, on that. Man. Maybe Fauna knows. Maybe. Does Let's go to Fauna's. It, it could be potentially worth it to go into the merchant quarter and see if she is around the area of the Gilded Cage, just to walk. And the Gilded Cage, no longer having a proprietor, someone might be interested walking towards it. To buy a painting. Could be at least a good place to go to look for buyers. Just lugging around a loot <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> take a blanket. The entirety of town. Do you have, like, some sort of, like, I... There's the, blankets, The yeah. medieval equivalent of a linen closet. Like, of just, I can grab a sheet and, like, David kind of wrap it around. David absolutely has a linen closet. <laughs> Great. Yes. Uh, okay. I wrap it around and... Kind so, of all right, so what is the plan? Faunas. Faunas. All right. Ramshackle. Faunas also. Goes. Yes, I think. Right, so uh, the three of you no, are going I, to Faunas. Oh, shoot, I guess I... No, wait, wait. You need wait, to go. I don't merchant's think he's, he's yeah, going to the So you're going to go to the Merchant's Quarter. The other four are going to Faunas. Is that right? I think you're going to go to the Merchant's Quarter. They're going to the... We're going to go to Faunas. Oh, okay. yeah. Going to Faunas. Ah. Okay. The three oh, no, of you. Are you, you bringing the painting? With... Yes, I'm bringing the painting. You're just carrying... Okay, great. Okay. I think I could probably make, like... I don't know, like makeshift straps almost. Like yeah. Carry it around. I mean, I there is literally, I imagine, lots of loose leather here, so yeah. you yeah. can probably arrange something. Carry it like a big purse. D- David Trendy. is going to, before they leave, get a piece of paper and write a a um, a note about a, a writ of resale of this painting, okay. giving, giving its detail, giving an approximate price that he thinks it could be worth, I would like to appraise it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and I will he's going help to him on that. Stamp I was going to say, I could also help That him way nobody thinks these thing. people have stolen this yeah. painting right. and are trying to resell it. So. I would also like to ask Finley if he feels up for it to potentially I going have with helped Dahlia. you see an extra plus two? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, do you really, I mean... You wouldn't ask that. I mean, unless you want. I mean, you know how he. There is no question what he's going to say. There, he, it's. It is a question. It. She. He doesn't have to say yes. It is just a. Mila, have I not explained how this works? Even mere moments away from your presence causes panic to well up within me beyond any reckoning. Sweet little boy. Additionally, should it be more than let's say a few moments, I begin to uh, feel each 
of my wits dribble from my brain, much like the sands from that glass Too smart. <laughs> that you saw sitting on the desk as the poison was coursing through David Click's veins, whatever he called himself that day. So if you're <laughs> asking me if I would like the torture of loneliness, anxiety, and stupefaction, stupefaction of my wits all simultaneously, and hang out with me. I would say, no, I shall pass. All equal. Got no. it. Thank you. You made that very clear. I'm going to roll a praise. <laughs> okay. Hey. Total of a 28. Um, you know very little about such art, but you know <laughs> the name. Giovanni he carries weight here. Uh, this is not one of his finer pieces, but... <laughs> I beg to differ. I would love to know what his finer pieces he are. Finer. It depends on the buyer. They are, they are, they are not, Everybody's art. got something. They are not seen in normal shops. <laughs> it's um, fancy. <laughs> Um, you, you would guess this painting is worth anywhere from one to two hundred pieces of gold, which is substantial. For... I, I will put down that, that David purchased it for 175 and wants to sell it for 200. Okay. All right. <laughs> so let's move this along then. So, so they the have two, a letter. You it's step out, to your somebody. feet crunching uh, in the frozen snow. There is actually now again a light snowfall this morning um, here in my Altamira. Cloak also and tie back my hair. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so the sun is hidden behind. Uh, the the clouds above. It's a gray day, but still illuminated with the sun coming through the clouds, hitting that white snow. It's bright all around. You see wagons go past, horses clopping along the cobblestone streets, uh, wagon wheels uh, creating ruts in the snow, uh, peasants moving back and forth, urchins paying no mind to the fact that they have no shoes upon their feet, dance through the snow, giggling in their threadbare clothing. Um, as each of you make your way, we'll start with the group that goes to uh, to the uh, each, each shoots and leaves. leaves. Mm. Um, as you approach each shoots and leaves, I sorry to hold things again, but there uh -huh. is something in the way that I cannot move past. The the moment that Ram is out of sight. <laughs> yes. David, I imagine is is holding Mila's arm. If if Daisy would allow it, David would also hold her arm in the other arm while walking down the street, but I don't know if Daisy would be so kind. <laughs> Mew is linked. I'll just be like, there, there, David. <laughs> Tafe it. Each shoots and leaves. Tafe it. We can tafe it. Uh, we can see each shoots and leaves down the road. I turn into an alleyway and pull us into it. What are you doing? I'm sorry. He pulls the glove off. Yeah. What has mm. happened? So, as far as we know, everything Dahlia said is is true um, about the handshake. There seemed to be some sort of puncture, and there is another scale snake. Uh, venom in in you, right now. He he he, he wobbles. <laughs> she was just saying, just saying <laughs> wobbles. It will be okay. We are working on getting. Not but, only are we talking to Fauna because we don't trust this Matteo guy as far as we could throw him, which I think Fauna should help. We got to get there. Agreed, but we're working to get a king's ransom in two days. Yes. Well, we're gonna try, but maybe we could just kill Matteo. I mean, that's an option. I don't know. They, they know. They know, know that we're connected. But what if we did kill him? I like that idea. We could try. I think this is a better route to go down first. At least attempt to get what they need, what we need, to ensure that you don't die. It's just scum. He didn't even hear what he said last mm. night. He enjoyed people suffering. People like that do. And you know what people like that need? They need a little justice. <laughs> and you don't catch the meaning of this, but he looks to Mila and says, so you were right then? Right about what? You obviously know what he's talking about. I think so. Rats! Just to, just to be sure, let me know. The just to David and Click share the same body. Rats! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, about what? About you, I imagine, unless you want to roll, roll sense motive for me real quick. He's not being secretive, but... Two. Crap. Uh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> sensors off. The dice tell the he's story, talking about baby. Like being right about evil people existing in the city and yes. needing to be dealt with with justice. Totally correct. <laughs> if, if that's what she's right about, she is 100% right. 
Let's get the, the phone. Wow. Out. Thank you. Daisy agree. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy. Whoa. We continue on. Wow. All right. Uh, uh, she is holding quite tightly. <laughs> um, as you approach uh, Fauna's shop, it, it, you're within a good 20 footsteps, and you can already smell the aromatic scents, the various Yay. herbs and flora. <laughs> Even in winter, somehow Fauna, uh, Fauna has all of the flowers and herbs blooming around her shop. Uh, as you approach the, do the windows, the doors are actually wide open. Oh. You can see her. She's bustling about. Um, she's... Uh, tending to her plants. She's got dried herbs that are hanging from the rafters. You see a pile of fresh cut herbs sitting uh, and on flowers scattering all over a large <laughs> counter. Uh, she runs her hand along the counter, goes and stands behind it. You can see there's a bookshelf that's holding jars and bottles with various remedies that have already been prepared. On the middle shelf, you see there's an old weathered letter with fresh springs of uh, lavender up against it. On the other side is a small tree that sits neatly trimmed, and it's got incense burning in front of it, little oh, wisps cool. of snow, smoke wafting up. In between the two, you see a small jar of berries uh, that sits. Uh, Fauna hums softly to herself as she's pruning some comfrey off in the back of her shop. Miss Fauna? Oh, Fauna, dear! <laughs> As her head snaps up, uh, she looks across, she sees the three of you. Uh, her eyes do a double take on David, who looks not very good. No. <laughs> Sallow cheeks, sunken eyes, and she says... Well, hello there, dear. <gasps> Wait, are you, are you here? Or is it a sound bite? She, she, I'm here. She, she, <laughs> she, wow. she, she gives you a perplexed look. Uh, I think... Can the viewers hear her? Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. She's, like, torn between immediately running forward and hugging her and then realizing that we are here for very different reasons other than a reunion, because I don't think Mila's no. seen Fauna since she's gotten back. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. Uh, so she, like... David will push you forward. Then, okay, then she'll that. go and she'll, she'll give ha uh, Fauna a big hug. It is so good to see you. And you, Mila. Um, look at you. You've grown so much. I'm uh, a, bit, a bit taller than I was. <laughs> um, sadly, I apologize to cut a union short, but we are here on different business. Very different business, Fauna. We bad. have a friend in need. Very bad business. And he'll slowly, one finger at a time, pull the glove off. Have you heard of the nether scale snake? Can you hold that hand up so it's up higher and that's going like, like toward the camera? And Fauna. show it his hand and look at it. As she does, you turn it over and Fauna sees uh, the spidering of black uh, that's going across, necrosis already occurring at the palm site. You immediately recognize with the, the name Netherscale, you know this serpent, rare, very deadly poison. You're actually shocked that Click is still walking. David. 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 David is still walking. Well, Fauna. Yeah, but, but either way, yeah. Fauna, somebody tried to, is trying to kill our very good friend with some bad poison. Daisy, would you mind getting the doors? Mm -hmm. I will. I, I've done what I can so far, but I, I, it is certainly not enough. I've, I've dealt with snakes and snake bites poisons before, but this is very different, and you are a woman of much knowledge uh, when it comes to the nature of things, so... We come to you hoping to, I don't know, come up with some sort of anti-venom or something that'll prolong this, because we don't trust the person that is supposedly going to provide. We were told that we were given an anti-venom last night, although obviously things seem to be worse. But I don't think we can trust him. I don't think so either. I would so never. I just think you are the best, and I know you can help us, Fauna. <laughs> She gives a little wary look at David. <laughs> <laughs> Must I get David? I'm afraid I don't have an anti-venom. I had oh. assumed. I do have some powdered oak bark that, when mixed with milk, will help with the toxin. I'm afraid that's the best I can do. Do you have anything for headaches? Of course. I don't she mean will. to impose, but... Fauna. They... He took all of our money. 
I can't pay you for these goods. You can pay me back by bringing me some herbs. Whatever you can buy. You see there's a, there's a kindness in her eyes, but also a tightness. Uh, she's, you can tell she's very concerned by the state that you're in, but she's trying to show a bit of a good face. Fauna. Fauna. <laughs> <laughs> she arches a brow at you. So, you, you know we've had somebody that's trying to harm <laughs> our, Dave, our good friend David. And you know, let me just be honest with you. I'm just, how would that be? I do need nightshade, and it is not for good purposes. It would be to, uh, you know, um, give a little something something to those that have injured our David. Neil looks very impressed with the honesty. Yeah, yeah. Daisy. David oh, Yes. Oh, do not make a right. Yes, they do. But they do. They do. This man that did this to David, he does not deserve to live. I well, maybe that's a little harsh, but it is what it is. I do not think he is a good person. He tried to kill. He tried to. You should see Dahlia. She looks worse than David. Dahlia. She's in bad shape. Dahlia got She'll into a fight of her own volition. Be a to, to protect you. To protect us. To protect us. Now, we are in the fight of our lives, Fauna. Are you just going to let us die? Our blood will be on your hands. <laughs> Fauna, I terribly apologize for my friends. You can see the set of uh, uh -oh. Fauna's jaw getting harder and harder. Yeah. And harder. <laughs> That should be your catchphrase. <laughs> I think what Daisy is trying to say is that we are going against very dangerous individuals, despicable ones that want only the worst for those that are here. I think we're in over our heads. <laughs> you think? We are. We're just very in children. over our heads. <laughs> <laughs> Fauna, awesome. I don't wish to drag you into this mess. You've done so much good for us. But we really, really need help. I am a woman of my and I will not give you more nightshade, Daisy. <sighs> However, there are other things you may discover have adverse effects when giving too much. If you can speak up just a little bit, Mandy, you're a little bit quiet. She'll go to the counter behind her there and she pulls off a vial that kind of milky looking Ooh. and hands it to Daisy. Mm -hmm. This is milk of pop. What is it? Milk of poppy. But that's not what I asked for, but that's okay. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> when given in high dosages. Yes. Your Adversary may find themselves unable to wake up. That, that could come in handy, but high dosages, how much are you giving me? <laughs> in low dosages, we just will not cut it. Daisy. Well, David, let me deal with my own business. You're not my father. Oh, so let the remote speak so you can hear it. Go ahead oh. again. You have enough to get the job done. One job? How many jobs? <laughs> what are the mechanics of this item? <laughs> so how, how I many, got a lot of jobs to do. I yeah, just yeah. need to know how many. How, how many doses did you give her, Amanda? Two doses in that vial. Two doses. Two doses. Two. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All right. Well, thank you, Vana, my dear. Her eyes cut back over to David. David, she hands a little jar. He goes to reach for with, with his right hand, no. but he moves to his left because he's not used to it. Oh. The jar is small and round, and the lid springs open when you hit the latch, and inside is a grayish powder. Add this to milk and drink it. It will help stall the venom, but I'm afraid it will not do much more than that. Thank you. 
Things are. Mistakes have been made, Fauna. You might be in danger. Everyone might be in danger. As you say she might be in danger, she just gives you a steady look and says, I can take care of myself, dear. <laughs> I've known you for a long time, Fauna. I'm certain you will. I just wanted you to be aware. Now, as for that headache of yours, she gives you some rose petals, make tea, and drink. Oh. This is out of character. Who has the disguise potion? I think I do. Yeah, I'm fairly certain. Um, we are currently in the midst of trying to wrangle some money. <laughs> Would you perhaps be at all interested in buying a potion? Perhaps multiple. He'll, he'll also pull out a healing potion that he has too. I feel that that might oh, be what? well useful. Do we have another more useful one than? How many people do you know, Fauna, in this area? Do you know a lot of people? I know a fair many. Yes. We're looking for a. What did the lady look like? Well, I mean, your she was description. In the docks. What's that? She's in the docks. So yeah. I don't know no. So I mean, the description yourself. you're about to give That's is true. going to be of a. Uh, woman of middling height with brown hair, mm-hmm. shoulder half length, elven. yeah, half elven with a, you know, I think she was. I mean, I mean, there's nothing distinctive that you would be able to get. Oh, no. Mary. Yeah, you're, you're in a, you're yeah. In a, yeah, you're in a city. Oh. I can't remember her name. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, I know it's. But only else. only the investigator thought of that, so that would have been a good one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we have. So two Mila, they offer. I mean, uh, uh, Fauna, they offer two potions for sale. It is the... Disguise self and comprehend languages. How does Fauna respond? Fauna looks at them each in turn. I will help, but I will not take your potions. You may need them. Instead, you will repay me by gathering the herbs of various rarities. We, we plan on heading north soon, once we're out of this mess. Can we find those herbs in that direction? Absolutely. What herbs do you need? Anything you can find. We'll okay. find as much as we can. Absolutely. Holla, I think was her name. Actually, Holla. Holla. Yeah. I also think I wrote it down, but no, no, you know, so I didn't. Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah. did I write no, it down? No, but I just don't think she had it written down. Yeah, yeah. I Wait did, a minute. I, I may have, because that sounds familiar. But we weren't in the conversation. Right, while you're doing that, let's keep let's keep it going. Go ahead. David goes. Fauna, I know a bad business deal when I see one, and I thank you for accepting this one. Thank you. You have every word, every promise I could ever give, that we will bring you the most abundant amount of herbs you have seen in your life. I will hold you to that deal. I know you will. One moment, and she'll go to the back of her store and she comes back holding a leather pouch and hand it to Mila. Thankfully, we have many nipples that come with cold. Oh, I didn't hear what she said. Could you repeat that? We couldn't hear that. Yeah, just that last part. Thankfully, with the sniffles that come with the cold, Hmm. I have made enough to spare 300 gold to you. Mila start crying. like has that. She she does. There David are tears that well crying. up in her eyes. She hands you a heavy sack filled with gold. I, I I don't I don't know what to say. Thank you, so so much, Fauna. I herbs are simply not enough to pay this back. You are such a kind soul. Thank you. Oh, hey. Once my hand is back in working order, you have anything you need from my shop. Forever. Thank you. She gives you a smile. More pouches like that will come your way. (laughs) Be them empty, but I'm certain you'll fill them. 
And you see again that there's that smile and there's a kindness, but again, that tightness in the eyes. Um, there's something that is being unspoken here, which is the power of this venom, well beyond even the considerable talents of Fauna, has her deeply worried about David. Fauna, is that truth in what this man has said? That it takes multiple doses to solve this? Fauna will nod. I'm afraid so. Well, then at least we can trust that. We'll prolong the effects as long as we can. We will. <sighs> David gives her a big hug. I think Mila will also just come up and just wrap her. It's a group hug. Oh, yes. love it. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy's on the outside, just like. <laughs> yeah, Daisy's kind of like coming over the top, patting back, trying yeah. to get in on the hug. <laughs> and before we leave, David will we'll pull out from the hug just gently and say, and Daisy made a big deal of Dahlia. She got a bit pummeled last night, but she's all right. Don't worry about her. Here, take some of these. And she pulls some of the fresh comfort leaves that she is. Oh, Aunt Mom! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Play it, Mom. Play it, Mom. <laughs> Mando, you're the best. Mando's is the best. Uh, um. As you head to the door of Eat, Shoots, and Leaves, uh, do you see Fauna stares out the open doors at you as your feet crunch in the snow? Uh, the breeze gently blows the curls of her hair back from her dress. Everything neatly appointed herself a picture of what her shop is not. Her shop has the wildness and the chaos, uh, but but she looks so well put together and she just uh, waves a gentle hand at you. Go ahead. Um, as they are stepping towards the door, Mila will say, I understand that you are worried for David, all of us are, but I, I give you my word that I will do everything in my power to make sure that he is safe and that he is okay. Oh, Thank no. you. Just rest a hand lightly on your your face with a small smile, just knowing. Thank you for all you've done. We'll see you again soon. As you, as you do that, she just stands and she watches you as you walk down the road, and even as the rest of Altamira passes by, paying no mind to three more travelers going through the snow, you do look back over your shoulder and see Fauna still standing in the doorway watching you as you go down the street. Uh, we're going to come to you guys. Where do you go Cry. next? Uh, where are we headed? Yeah, well, I'm going to come to the yes. two of you. Where are the three of you I am going? guiding them to the spiked mallet. All right, you're headed to the spiked mallet. Okay. Uh, the two of you. As you're moving, as you're so moving cool. through the uh, the merchant uh, quarters, do you go first back to the area where the gilded cage was, looking for a buyer? That's for the painting, probably going, what I'm doing first. Okay. I imagine that I might actually just know some pawn shops in the area because that's the sort of place you would go to find stolen goods usually. Uh, okay, and that's um, something that I imagine I've done in Altamira. Okay, and quick you? question before yes. we leave the low quarter. Mm -hmm. Yes, is <laughs> is Pencil Pages on our way out? Um, oh. No, Pens for Pages is deeper in, but okay. you can go there, but you would have to double yeah. back. I mean, if you want to go there, you could mention it. I think Dolly is like, like, I think you see her kind of like <laughs> drumming on her thigh of like, hey, Ram. Yes? You want to make a quick detour? Sure. Where to? Great. <laughs> start walking. Yeah. So you guys I'll turn, follow. you go back the opposite yeah. way? Just real quick. Okay. Just real quick. All right, so oh, probably so good, to, good to have a chat. She spins you on your boot and mm -hmm. uh, heads you, takes you back the other direction. Um, he was not there to protect you. Uh, <laughs> no, as, no one is. <laughs> yeah. as, you, uh, as you go heading back there, uh, we're going to go back to you guys. You head uh, over toward <laughs> the Pence for Pages. Uh, I'm not part of the, uh, yeah. I'm going to go to the Spike Mallet first. Oh, okay. As you go toward the Spike Mallet, um, obviously, this is a place of great comfort and familiarity to David. Um, as you approach David, um, you can hear you can hear the ringing uh, of the hammer, and you see the. going to be concerned. 
What's that? Dad's <laughs> going to be worried. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, you hear the ring. You can see there is smoke uh, that is billowing. And go ahead and um, roll D uh, roll D20, David, please. What? To, to pre-see how angry Mr. Rashid is, I rolled a 15 on my dice. You rolled a 15 on your die. Okay. Um, you notice the plume coming from the chimney looks different. Uh, it's, 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 it's got a, a, a broader uh, envelope of smoke that seems to be coming up in a slightly different pattern than you're accustomed to seeing. Burning different wood. Um, da- David, before we enter, will say, this might get a bit emotional. If oh. you don't want to deal with that, you might want to stay outside. I'll be fine. Emotions have never bothered me. <laughs> <laughs> As you walk you past like uh, the the sign with the huge spiked morning star that sits out front of the spike mallet, you pull on a familiar creaky wooden door as you slide it back. You see the smoke uh, kind of billing out, and you look inside the shop. Uh, you can see it looks like it's in disarray. Many of the items that you're accustomed to are in the wrong place. Um, things have been moved off shelves. A bunch of tables are slid to one side of a wall, uh, almost like uh, <laughs> people who have gone to feast and left plates everywhere. Hmm. Um, as you walk in, you see uh, Rashid, he's standing there and he's wiping his brow and he's got a big cloth. He's wiping down a, a brand new forge uh, that has been installed. And as he's cleaning <laughs> around it, um, he touches the bellows um, and then hearing the sound of a customer, he looks up and the biggest grin comes across his face as he looks at David and then his his eyes David grow David can't help concerned. but smile, and the moment his eyes change, David's face changes too. He looks at you and he says, David, what's wrong, my way? Ah! What is happening? Keith, you so monster! Cool. Oh my gosh! D- I'm gonna freak out! <laughs> I'm gonna freak out! Oh, you gotta give me a second. John, you're the worst! <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, David lets out a long drawn out sigh and and lets the, the smoke wash over him as he walks towards an area that's that's less smoky, not approaching Rashid too closely, keeping a, a, a distance. Um I'm in trouble. And I needed to come talk to you. Um something bad. Something very bad. (sighs) He'll take the glove off. As he pulls the glove off, he holds up his hand, and you see what I've already described. I, um... You know I used to get into trouble. I think I got into a lot. I'm... I'm dying. And the only thing that will save my life How ironic is money. It's one thing you've taught me to chase after so well. I go over and give David a big hug. He melts right into it. He wraps his thick, hued arms around you. The comforting uh, smell of clean sweat and smoke um, that you've come to know so well. And you see David as he melts into his embrace. There is no role to be made for this. Sobs just begin racking from his chest as he's clutched. And he looks like nothing so much as a little boy in the arms of a father. I don't know what to do. Fauna gave me something, but she said it's not enough. Can this be cured? (sighs) Yes. And the only way we know how right now is to give this man this money. 
or kill him. There's no guarantee that he has the anti-venom anywhere logical. I think it's upstairs. But we don't know that. I know. But there's still hope. There yes. is. A little. David, you know that uh, when you came here, you're the son I've never had. <laughs> what is mine is yours. I would give all of this up for you. Oh, Keith, you're making it so yeah. hard, my Jeez. man. You see, even as he says this, um, an unaccustomed tremble goes through his strong frame. And though he doesn't let it fall, you see there is moisture that wells up in the corner of his eyes. Mila turns away. <laughs> I cannot profit off of your success. You have another forge. You're doing so well. And I would give it up. And I would give you all of it. Um, but since I bought this forge, my funds are limited right now. And with that, I walk over to the counter and pull out a box. Opening it up, I dump out the entire content. <laughs> Coins go out on the counter, <laughs> spilling across. Pushing the money around, there seems to be about 280 gold pieces here. Um, one moment. As I walk back up on the shelf by the forge, I pull boots and cups around, pull out a box. Out of that box, I dump it on the counter, and there's about 100 more gold pieces there. <laughs> Keith, you monster, you monster, you monster. <sighs> but even as he does this, you see it's with an, an apologetic look, a guilty sidelong glance at this forge which gleams, and yet you can see, even without him speaking, he feels at some level he's traded potentially the life of the son he never had for this forge, and it's, it's wrecking him inside. Rashid. You owe me nothing, and I owe you everything. I am an eighth of the man I am today without you. I wouldn't have my shop that you so kindly allow me to stay in. I wouldn't have my businessmanship that you so wisely taught me. I wouldn't be the crafter that I am. I will you take. Have given me so much more. I will take. You have gave me purpose, and you filled my life with such joy. I will take none of it without giving you something in return. Having you in my life is all I need. Stop it. After you take care of this, come back. Help me get my store back in order. <laughs> You know I'm a good talker. I will sell you on every street corner of this city. Additionally,